What's up guys, this is your favorite fanfic YouTuber, the fanfic majesty, and welcome to another amazing video. You can follow me on Patreon for exclusive stories. 11 MP, Chapter 226, Qian Yi's Reminder. The war is about to start. In addition, you two must cooperate closely with each other. Don't be strong personally, let alone attack by two people at the same time. What I have said, you must bear in mind, don't ignore my words, if you want to survive. I hope you two can hold on until then, and I will come back to rescue you. Quote. When Qian Yi said this, he saw that there were already two Arankars coming to Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane in the western half. Seeing this, Qian Yi didn't say anything, but using Shunpo, he immediately left the two daughters and left. And in the surprise of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, they quickly disappeared without a trace. This is not surprising to the two deputy captains of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane. After Qian Yi left the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, of course, he had to find a place to hide himself. You have completed the layout of the battle. Get the event reward. Spiritual power plus 2-0. Qian Yi didn't expect that he preached normally and reminded 587 that the two deputy captains in his team were actually incident tasks. But for these, Qian Yi would ignore him now. The reason why Qian Yi had to find a place to hide himself was because he was going to play Yin first. Of course Qian Yi also knew why there were only two Arankars attacking the western half. That's because in the western half, there are only two women, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane. As for him, in the eyes of Arankar, he is just an ordinary person. Because, he doesn't have the slightest Reiatsu. Of course he won't be the Shinigami of Soul Society like Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane. For this, Qian Yi is naturally very confident. Therefore, he decided to play insidious tricks on these Arankars. Because Qian Yi not only saw it, only two Arankars attack the western half, and only three Arankars attack the eastern half. Isn't this equal to the number of Shinigami from Soul Society except him? It seems that these Arankars are really good at calculating, are they preparing for a one-on-one -on -one fair fight? However, Qian Yi just thought about it. He didn't believe that these Arankars would be fair in terms of professional ethics. Even those Arankars have this professional ethics. And Qian Yi, he would never comply. For these Arankars, Qian Yi will not take care of the others. Qian Yi has only one purpose, and that is to make them have no return. Killing all, not leaving one, this is Qian Yi's nature. Of course, this does not rule out that Qian Yi had other ideas at the time. Because Qian Yi will not be a person who obeys the rules silently. He just likes the one who doesn't play cards according to the routine. Besides, in this, there are inevitably an uncertain factors. What's more, are there still accidents happening? At this moment, Qian Yi also smiled with Yin Yin. You think it's fair, I don't think it's fair, and I won't let him be fair. You all violated, the Karakura town of the present world is here. I want a fair one-on-one -on -one match, but I'm not sure. I must come to a two-on-one. Of course, these two fights won, naturally, it must be the two of us and one of you. In that case, it doesn't seem to be all right. Because Qian Yi gave Hitsugaya to Shiro, what he left was still one-on-one. -on -one. Of course, according to Qian Yi's plan, he had to turn two-on-one -on -one into a group of Europe. As long as he can win, Qian Yi is not so particular about it. Fairness, there is no fairness at all. And here in Qian Yi, there will never be any. Because the Arankar that appeared this time is not Aizen's current Espada, but also Aizen's CDEJ, Seed of Espada. These Arankars are not something that Matsumoto Rangaku, Katetsu Azane, Kira, and Aburai Renji can fight against. Even Hitsugaya Toshiro, I'm afraid it won't be possible. It's okay to save your life. To defeat these Arankars, I'm afraid it's an idiotic dream. Of course, this is not to say how bad Hitsugaya Toshiro is, and how strong these Arankars are. Rather, because of Soul Society, this time they sent Qian Yi to guard the world Karakura town. In order not to be too terrible, to cause excessive impact on the present Karakura town, and not to cause unnecessary damage. So Qian Yi and their Reiatsu are all limited. In other words, Hitsugaya Toshiro and their current combat power can only play a part. They simply can't give full play to their full strength. However, everything has an exception, and Qian Yi is this exception. Although Qian Yi accepted it in the same way, Soul Society restricted his Reiatsu, but for Qian Yi, such a restriction was useless. Qian Yi naturally has a hundred ways to unlock his Reiatsu limitation. The facts are also true. On the way Qian Yi came to live in Karakura town, he unlocked his Reiatsu limit. It's just that Qian Yi can only unlock his own Reiatsu limitation, but can't unlock other people's Reiatsu limitation. This is not to say that Qian Yi can't solve Hitsugaya Toshiro, their Reiatsu limitation. Rather, once Hitsugaya Toshiro, their Reiatsu limit was unlocked. The remote Reiatsu monitoring room at the research center of the Technology Development Bureau of the Soul Society will find it immediately. This also means that the solution is a free solution. Soul Society will still re-qualify them. But Qian Yi is different, he wants to let people know, it won't make people aware of it. Because he already has the ability to hide himself from Reiatsu. This is why Qian Yi can unlock himself Reiatsu. 
That is to say, now coming to the present Karakura town, among the six guardians Shinigami. Only Qian Yi's Reiatsu is not limited. Only Qian Yi alone can fully use all of his own Reiatsu to fight. Since Qian Yi left his base camp, that is, the base of the Masked Legion. Qian Yi is let, the other five members of the Masked Legion all retreated to the base camp. Qian Yi is of course to help Kurosaki Ichigo, as well as Ishida Yulong and Sato Yasutora in their intensive training. Because Qian Yi is very lucid, only Hiroko Shinji, Lisa, and Xiaoba three people can't cope with Kurosaki Ichigo's hollow training. In this way, only Qian Yi, Katetsu Azane, and Matsumoto Rangaku will come to the western half of Karakura town that Qian Yi is guarding. Chapter 227, Qian Yi's Secret Layout. Rukia Kuchiki is ordered to support. Advertise here. Therefore, Qian Yi must have two, with lightning speed, to kill the Arankar attacking the western half first. In this way, the two girls Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane turned one-on-one -on -one into a two-on-one. -on -one. In the next battle, the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, O are not too embarrassed, and, will not die. In the eastern half, the four of them participated in the battle due to the absence of Kurosaki Ichigo. Hitsugaya Toshiro and the three of them are also the pressure has increased tremendously. It can be said that the three of Hitsugaya Toshiro not only have no chance of winning, but whether they can keep their lives is very difficult to say. Of course, Qian Yi will not let such a situation happen. Qian Yi is the same. Hira and Aburai Renji must also play a two-to-one game. Only then can they have a chance to save their lives. Because Qian Yi's plan also has to be implemented step by step, isn't it? Qian Yi didn't want to come with him, to anyone in Karakura town in this world, there would be any accidents. Besides, Qian Yi does have this strength. Just when Qian Yi was planning secretly, and was preparing to make insidious tricks on those Arankars. But Grimjao, who was still floating in the space cracks, was quite dissatisfied. It seems that when we came to live Karakura town this time, none of the main targets we were looking for appeared. It was really anxious to come. However, Grimjao at this time, thinking about it, didn't think it had much to do, and it was not too lost. Because it is not there. Sent by these soul society to guard the Shinigami of Karakura town. Although their Reiatsu is not too high, it is not too weak. I'm talking about it, you can also remind soul society by the way, so as to prove that their Arankar is powerful. Grimjao, thinking of these, also comforted himself. That's right, then we Arankar, let's take these, soul society's Shinigami first. Who made you so unlucky, but happened to run into it, I am Grimjao. What's this called, there is a way to heaven, you don't go, hell has no way, you come. Then I will let you come and go. In this way, it won't be a waste of me to come to this world, and it will also give Master Aizen an explanation. Maybe, when the Aizen Sama is happy then, not only will I not blame me, but maybe I will be more appreciated and reused. At this moment, Grimjao was standing alone, in a crack in the air, thinking of good things again. However, Grimjao was serious about Qian Yi's existence and could not detect it at all. Grimjao, I'm afraid that he didn't even think about dreaming, of course, I don't know if Arankar will dream or not, there is a danger, Arankar is approaching them quietly. And Grimjao, the strong man who has always wanted to find, in fact, has always been there. And it's always there, under his nose. It's just that he Grimjao, he didn't know it. Because when Qian Yi was with Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, Grimjao actually saw it. It's just because Grimjao didn't sense a trace of Reiatsu from Qian Yi. Therefore, Qian Yi is just regarded as an ordinary person. And Qian Yi's sudden disappearance, Grimjao not only didn't care, but thought it was normal, because Qian Yi ran away. At this time, the two deputy captains of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane in the western half also obeyed Qian Yi's instructions. Not only did the two of them not separate, but they also put their backs to back and set up a posture of mutual defense and attack. It is not only preparing to face the battle, but also to prevent Arankar's sneak attack. Of course, Xiao Long and Ilbert, the two Arankars, saw their opponents, stayed together, and also swooped towards the western half together. Hey hey, it's really two Shinigami who are so weak that they are scared like that. They stayed together back to back and waited for death without you. I'll go one by one. A waste Shinigami to kill. Ilbert, who was flying in front, flew towards, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, the two daughters, followed behind, and Xiao Long started talking. In Seoul Society, Jingalingting's Technology Development Bureau Research Center. At this time in the Reiatsu monitoring room of the research center. Toot toot. Suddenly, the alarm system of the equipment monitored by Reiatsu remotely made a very rapid alarm sound. Quick. There is a situation. Quickly turn on the display, search for the source of Reiatsu, and find out the strength of Reiatsu. The commander in charge of the center also immediately issued a mission order. Dot dot dot. For flowers. It's the present Karakura town. The color is red, it's Arankar. The investigators in charge of monitoring also responded immediately. How many are there? The commander asked again. There are six Arankars. The monitor responded immediately. Quickly test the strength of Reiatsu, and see if Aizen's Espada appears. The conductor reminded again. Reiatsu's strength is very strong. 
From an analysis point of view, one is undoubtedly Aizen's Espada. The remaining five are also infinitely close to Espada. The technical staff also quickly reached a conclusion. Quick, report to the captain. The commander quickly preached. It's just that, at this time, the people in the Reiatsu monitoring room at the research center, because some were too rushed, everyone had forgotten one very important thing. That is, about Hitsugaya Tashiro and others, Reiatsu Limited. And they didn't receive it, Hitsugaya Tashiro in Karakura town, they asked for the Reiatsu limitation request. Jing Lingting's 13 guards also immediately made some corresponding responses. However, the main response of Soul Society is to protect Soul Society. Just in case Aizen's voice hits the West, because Aizen is not without this possibility. Regarding the matter of Karakura town in the present world, everyone thinks, wait a minute to talk about it. Because this time sent to live Karakura town, there are two captains and four deputy captains. The fighting power is super strong, and even a bit perverted Qian Yi is also in Karakura town. Besides, the Karakura town side has not yet come, and any requests for instructions have come. Therefore, Seoul society thought twice and decided to let Rukia Kuchiki and Inoue Orihime return to the present Karakura town first. The two daughters of Rukia Kuchiki and Inoue Orihime went to the present Karakura town, which not only strengthened some fighting strength, but also completed post-war rescue work, which can be described as killing two birds with one stone. In the training ground of the 13th division, the two girls, Rukia Kuchiki and Inoue Orihime, also quickly received an order to return to the present Karakura town. However, just after Rukia Kuchiki received the order, he must go alone immediately, pass through the boundary gate through the black cavity, and head to the present Karakura town. But Inoue Orihime was stopped. Where? Chapter 228. Rukia Kuchiki was ordered to support the world. Ulziola's interception. As soon as Rukia Kuchiki heard it and yelled on the loom, he stopped immediately, looked at Inoue Orihime and asked, Inoue Orihime. Is there anything wrong with you? Rukia Kuchiki, I'm going to live Karakura town with you. Inoue Orihime said quickly. Inoue Orihime, you told me that you can't go with me. Rukia Kuchiki said. Rukia Kuchiki, why is this? Inoue Orihime asked very puzzled. Inoue Orihime, because I went directly from Haicheng to Karakura town this time. Even if you go with me, you will be sent to Duanji on the way. Because you have not opened the gate beforehand, it will be very unstable in the boundary, and on the contrary, it will be even more dangerous. Rukia said. At this moment, the person who came to inform also said, yes. Inoue Orihime, mine has opened the door to you and stabilize the broken world. Come with me, we will send you from the broken world. Back to the world Karakura town. Rukia Kuchiki also said, Inoue Orihime, I will go to the world Karakura town to wait for you. Rukia Kuchiki said it was all right, and then rushed away. And Inoue Orihime had no choice but to follow Shinigami from the corpse world to the crossing gate. And in Rukia Kuchiki, as soon as he entered the black chamber, Ulziola, who was hiding in the subspace, also showed a dark smile. Here, it's finally here. Hey, it's not right. Why is Rukia Kuchiki alone, the Inoue loom? But Ulziola also came to understand very quickly. This Rukia Kuchiki, this is in a hurry, from Haicheng directly to the present Karakura town. And that Inoue Orihime, because it is not Shinigami, the strength is too weak, if it is also from the Black Tone to the present Karakura town. She will also be forcibly sent to the broken world. It seems that the two daughters of Rukia Kuchiki and Inoue Orihime have left separately. In this way, hemp is a bit more troublesome, but it doesn't matter much. The speed of this black cavity is naturally much faster. Even if I took Rukia Kuchiki to, Hueko Mundo, first and handed it to Aizen, and then came back to capture Inoue Orihime, I still had time. Ulziola, too, soon had an idea. As a result, Ulziola flashed away and went out of the subspace. Just as Rukia Kuchiki, in the black tone, was about to arrive at Karakura town, he was suddenly stopped by Ulziola. Rukia Kuchiki, when he saw Ulziola suddenly appeared, he was not only very shocked, but also knew that something was wrong. Then he asked suspiciously, Who are you? What are you going to do? Ulziola said blankly, Rukia Kuchiki, you don't need to know who I am, you just need to know that I am here to invite you to, Hueko Mundo. Quote. In fact, in Rukia Kuchiki's mind, there is no need to ask or say anything about this. This person who suddenly appeared here must have been sent by Aizen to catch her. This is for her at all, and it must be for her, Hogyoku Inyimu. It seemed that I had been careless, and Soul Society had also miscalculated. When Rukia Kuchiki was preparing to flee, he was stunned by Ulziola. In the present Karakura town, Chian Yi is leaving, after Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azain, the two deputy captains. I immediately hid myself. You have completed the matchup between Matsumoto and Katetsu Azain. Get event reward. Linka plus 2 At this moment, Chian Yi just smiled and left it behind. Because now the two Arankars have already flew towards Chian Yi's direction. Of course, Xiao Long and Ilbert, these two Arankars, naturally did not discover the existence of Qian Yi. And Qian Yi also wanted this effect, nothing else, because Qian Yi was going to play Yin. Because Xiao Long and Ilbert are running, 
In the western half of Karakura town, the two daughters Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane are here. As for Qian Yi, let alone Xiaolong and Ilbert, the two Arankars, they didn't find him coming. Even if he found out, he would only treat Qian Yi as an ordinary person. Because of Qian Yi's Reiatsu, they couldn't sense it at all. This won't let it at all, Xiaolong and Ilbert, think Qian Yi will be too, Soul Society sent to guard, Karakura town's Shinigami. For this, Qian Yi certainly has great confidence. This is also the case, Qian Yi can better hide from himself. You know, Qian Yi's Reiatsu, let alone Xiaolong and Ilbert, these two Arankars cannot be sensed. As long as Qian Yi doesn't release Reiatsu, even Aizen can sense it. At this time, Qian Yi also saw it. There were also three Arankars, rushing out of the Black Cracks, and heading straight to the eastern half of the district, the three of Bai Sanga Tashiro, Kira, and Aburai Renji. Qian Yi really laughed when he saw this. It seems that these Arankars are really ready to come, a one-on-one -on -one fair battle. In Qian Yi, there is neither fairness nor a one-to-one -one situation. If there is, it can only be there, with two against one, or even a group of Europeans. Besides, Qian Yi also saw it. This time all the Arankars, not only have Aizen's former Espada. And the others are all, Aizen seeded players when they cultivated the former Espada. At this time, Grimjow, although he gave up a bit, searching for Kurosaki Ichigo, but he started again, feeling that among the five Shinigami, who was the strongest one. Hu hu hu. The two Arankars, Xiaolong and Ilbert, were flying closer and closer. And Ilbert, who was running ahead, also ran towards Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane in Bianchen, he snorted coldly. Huh. 4.9 Let's go to a one-on-one -on -one match, which is really boring. Even if I go alone, it would be great. Because Ilbert at this time, when he was away from the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, he had already seen the arrival of the two daughters. Hey hey, it turns out that there are still two female Shinigami. It seems that I still got the draw, and one was signed. This is exactly the nature of this Ilbert. Humph. And just when Ilbert was thinking about these things secretly. But when he heard Xiaolong behind, he also snorted coldly. Of course, after only a cold snort, Xiaolong behind was also gone. Because it was in Xiaolong, as soon as Qian Yi passed by Qian Yi, Qian Yi made a shot. At this time, Xiaolong was brought into an isolated formation by Qian Yi. Chapter 229, Qian Yi broke the game. 2 to 1, advertise here. Xiaolong was also a little surprised when he saw that he was suddenly brought here. At this time, Qian Yi could see clearly. I saw this Aaron car, without a braid in his brain. The top of his head and left eye were covered by a mask. He was a very tall, black-haired Aaron car. At this time, Xiao Long was also observing Qian Yi's arrival. Who are you? You are not Shinigami. Xiao Long still asked very curiously. It is because Xiao Long at this time, although face to face with Qian Yi, still did not sense the slightest Reiatsu from Qian Yi. Since it doesn't even have a bit of Reiatsu, naturally it won't be Shinigami of Soul Society. However, what made Xiao Long curious and surprised was that he also clearly felt something extraordinary at this time. Therefore, Qian Yi at that time was not only observing him, but also not the slightest fear to come. However, Xiao Long at this time didn't think that he was brought here by this person. It's because he made a mistake, and seems to have fallen into someone else's trap. Of course, the ordinary person in front of him had also strayed into it, only he was hit by 23. Qian Yi saw Xiao Long asking like this, but said playfully, You want to know who I am, then you have to tell me first, who are you? Hey, boy, if you know who I am, then you will not only have to die, but you will still be eaten by me. Xiao Long sneered. It's not fun to eat people, and I don't eat people either. You don't tell me if you don't tell me, I don't know it rarely. Qian Yi still said calmly. Xiao Long at this time obviously didn't want to waste time anymore. He still has to think about going out quickly, the Shinigami there is his delicacy. However, this kid in front of him, for the sake of his good courage, let's eat it by the way. Therefore, Xiao Long said very directly, I think you are a little bit courageous. I will tell you my name just before eating you. It will also let you know who ate you. I am number 11 Arankar Xiaolong Kufang, you must remember that I ate you. So you are not Lan Ran's top 10. But just after Xiaolong said his name, Qian Yi was very disdainful and authentic. Who are you? How do you know Lord Aizen, and know the top 10 things? After hearing Qian Yi's sudden words, Xiaolong was also shocked in his heart. That's not right, this person obviously doesn't even have the slightest Reiatsu. It's impossible to be Shinigami of Soul Society at all. But, why does he know so much? And when Xiaolong was surprised by himself, Qian Yi smiled and said, I am also looking at you, and for the sake of telling your real name, I will kill you with reluctance. However, you are not worthy of it. Know who I am. Xiao Long at this time also knew that he was afraid that he would meet a formidable opponent. Ever since, truncate, five iron worms, Xiao Long even came directly to Shikai. I saw that Xiao Long at this time had already transformed into an insect skin, an armor-clad figure, and the tail of a scissors worm appeared on his hair braids. The scope of the mask on his face also expanded from his left side to his chin. 
Not only did the arms and hands grow longer, they also became sharp knives like bones. Is it a bug? It's really disgusting. It's so noisy. In order to make me quieter, I'd better kill early and quiet. Still Qian Yi's voice did not fall, but he heard. Chang Chang. There was a phoenix sound. Before Xiao Long could respond, I saw Qian Yi's Fei Feng, but he had already split Xiao Long in half. Kacha. Kacha. After a sound, this number 11 Arankar Xiao Long slowly turned into a black mist and dissipated invisibly. Get one. Qian Yi then took back Zanpakuto, Yin Yin smiled. You completed the beheading of number 11 Arankar Xiao Long. Hu Fang. Get event reward. Reiatsu plus 20. At this time, the two daughters, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, saw only one Arankar, and when they rushed over, they were a little surprised. Of course, they also knew that the other Arankar must have been attracted by their captain Qian Yi and walked over. However, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane did not relax. As soon as he saw that Arankar was approaching, he was very obedient, and did not take the initiative to attack. At this time, the two women, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, not only did not take the initiative to attack, but also back to back to complete the defensive structure. Obviously, the second woman is going to put defense first. Hey hey, it's really two Shinigami who are timid and too weak to come. I was scared to come like this before I even arrived. It's really boring. Ilbert Arankar, who was also rushing to the second girl's place, stopped and sneered. Ilbert's sneer, although the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, sounded very uncomfortable and very ear-piercing. However, this is both her tactics after obeying Qian Yi's instructions, and it is also a fact. At this time, the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, they just thought, as long as they work together, they can kill the Arankar, and the others are not so important for the time being. Hey hey, it's actually Shinigami, two beautiful women, but I like it. I believe that your taste must be very delicious. Furthermore, I also seem to be, I haven't eaten a 587 Shinigami for a long time. It seems that my luck is not too bad, although you are weak, but after all, two girls Shinigami are here. You two tell me, should I eat the small one first? Or should I eat the big one first? Hey hey, I don't even know, where should I start eating? However, for the sake of the two of you, Shinigami, I'd better tell my name to both of you. So that you two can remember that I am not. Number 15 Arankar Ilbert Glands. Hey hey, after Ilbert finished speaking, after another sneer, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane approached. At this time, the second daughter could see the true face of Ilbert. I saw that Ilbert had long light blonde hair and deep purple eyes. The appearance is somewhat elegant and handsome. The mask is located on the left side of the head, which is unicornuate. At this time, seeing that the time to attack was ripe, Matsumoto Rangaku also launched an attack immediately. Heineka, Cat Rondo. With a loud roar from Matsumoto Rangaku, a powerful tornado cut towards Ilbert. The realm is broken. Prince Kangjiao. At this time, Ilbert was also Shikai immediately, and turned into a bull form with a large horn. Chapter 230. Arankar mysteriously disappeared. Grimjiao's wrath. Advertise here. However, just when Ilbert was about to knock Matsumoto Rangaku to death in one corner, he saw Matsumoto Rangaku and had already returned to the original place. However, when Ilbert did not have time to regain the offensive. But listen again. 31 of Hado. Red Cannon. It was another block of fire released by Katetsu Azane and attacked Ilbert's back. Ilbert turned his voice and slapped the fire quickly. Boom. As soon as Ilbert's forefoot touched, Katetsu Azane hit a big fire. The big fire exploded immediately. Phase magnetic. With the sound of the explosion, the fire was everywhere. Not only did Ilbert's fur have been burnt a lot, but also the flesh and skin were burnt to the point. Fortunately, Arankar like Ilbert is not only not afraid of pain, but also has the ability to recover quickly. Katetsu Azane also retreats with just one attack. When Ilbert tried to fight back, Katetsu Azane returned to his original position in the same way. At the same time, Matsumoto Rangaku's powerful tornado storm is heading towards Ilbert. At this time, Ilbert, although not so much, was easily injured by the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, but he did not care about the future. And Ilbert, wanting to kill the two women Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane in a short period of time, is already something absolutely impossible. This is also due to Ilbert's contempt at the beginning. If it's Ilbert, he won't have fun as soon as he arrives, so he directly hurts the killer and prevents the two daughters Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane from taking the lead. The current situation may be another matter. It's just that Ilbert wants to regret all this, and it is also useless. As a result, the battle between Ilbert and Matsumoto Rangaku and the two daughters of Katetsu Azane ended in a stalemate. Until then, the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, after seeing Ilbert's strength, also came over. Why did Qian Yi say that before, give them such a battle deployment? Now she too, of course, also know that if it is not like this, they are also afraid that some of their lives will really be lost. Let alone the two of them, facing alone, such a powerful Arankar. If they are really allowed to fight such an Arankar alone, and without applying for removal, Reiatsu will only have a second chance. However, 
Qian Yi immediately used Shunpo after beheading Xiao Long, and swiftly moved towards the Dongyang district of Karakura town. In the eastern half at this time, the battle also started fierce battle. Abarai Renji is against, number 107 Arankar has just gotten Bane. Hira is facing, number 103 Arankar Dorudoni, and number 16 Arankar D, Roy, they found Hitsugaya Tashiro. Because of Hitsugaya Tashiro, the civilians of Karakura town were afraid of affecting and hurting them, so they led the three Arankars to a valley here. As soon as Qian Yi arrived, the battlefield in the eastern half of the area, due to the direction he came from, happened to be the closest to Abarai Renji. At this time, Arankar, who was playing against Abarai Renji, was just Tengyin Mokokta, but Aizen Sosuke's subordinate. I saw Gang Tengbine, but he had an orange explosive head. On his forehead, he had a star-shaped mark, a blind mask like a blindfold, and a long beard on his chin. It belongs to that kind of Arankar with a strong physique. The Zanpakuto of Guntendian is a red electrified, horn-shaped Arankar who is very good at boxing. I saw Gang Tengyin at this moment, and he was finished singing, My lord. Please forgive us. It was with his strongest move, long roar fist, that he slammed hard at Abarai Renji, and the baboon king stretched out and attacked his arm. Obviously, this Gangdian wanted to blow up with a punch, and the baboon king's arm came, so that Abarai Renji, thus losing his combat power, let him slaughter him. It's too late to say, then it's fast. At the moment when Qianjin's firing came, Qian Yi followed the anti Ming voice, already a Shunpo, and came behind Gangtendian. Then Qian Yi's, Fei Feng, was a sweep, and it was cut off with a single knife, the orange exploding head that just took the place of burn. The head flew out and landed far away, and the black mist rose and dissipated in the air. You completed the beheading number 107 Arankar just gotten by. Get the event reward. Reiatsu plus 20. Of course, when I heard Feng Ming's voice, Abarai Renji was a little desperate. Naturally, he knew that he was saved because Captain Qian Yi came. Before Abarai Renji could speak, Qian Yi first said, Abarai Renji. If you don't want Kira and Hitsugaya Tashiro, you will be killed by these Arankars. Don't sigh, don't be stunned. First, help Kira, and quickly kill his Arankar against me, so that you can help Hitsugaya Tashiro. I won't talk to you anymore. I have to rush back to Nishi Ward to save Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane. After Qian Yi finished speaking, another Shunpo disappeared in place, and the Phosphine Room disappeared without a trace. Just when Gang Tendian was killed by Qian Yi with a single knife. It finally attracted Grimjiao's attention, still in the black seam. As Grimjiao was watching at this time, Ilbert was attacked by Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane in turn, very annoyed. However, just when Grimjiao was about to go personally and kill the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane in the western half. Suddenly he lost it again, and felt Reiatsu who was just Tendian. When Grimjiao turned around and looked at the battlefield in the eastern half, he was also taken aback. I saw it on the battlefield in the eastern half, Li Chenjiao area, but it appeared again, Kira and Abarai Renji, besieging Dorudoni. And Gang Tengyin, has disappeared without a trace. Naturally, Grimjiao also understood that this new Tendian must have been killed by Shinigami. However, Grimjiao didn't believe that Guntendian was killed by the Shinigami who was fighting against him. However, Grimjiao was very surprised, because whether he was in the western half of Karakura town or the eastern half, he didn't notice it, and there were other Shinigami who came to Krishna. What Grimjiao was surprised was not that he hadn't seen it, the mysterious and powerful Shinigami in the dark. But until now, he hasn't sensed Reiatsu who still has Shinigami. However, for these, the current Grimjiao can't take care of it either. All he has now is to rush to the western half of Karakura town. Chapter 231, Treat Quickly. Advertise here. Start with the strongest to come to the Great Confluence, and come to a quick fight. He also killed Hitsugaya Tashiro, Abarai Renji, and Kira to avoid accidents. Of course, in this way, Grimjiao can not only draw out the mysterious Shinigami in the dark, but also go all out to deal with it, no longer have other worries. You know, Grimjiao brought five other Arankars to Karakura town this time, but they did not hide from Aizen and came down privately. If it was Grimjiao, the few Arankars brought this time were all beheaded by these Shinigami. Grimjiao, even if he could kill all of these Shinigami, when he returned to, Hueco Mundo, not only would he not be able to confess to Aizen, he might have to be punished severely. Because Aizen is vicious, insidious, ruthless, and arrogant. Grimjiao, naturally, is also very clear. This Grimjiao's idea is beautiful, but the reality is that it is a little unsatisfactory. Because Qian Yi would not let Grimjiao wish. What's more, Qian Yi's 590 plan is more interesting than Grimjiao's idea. At this time, it was not just Grimjiao who was heading for the western half of Karakura town. At the same time, Qian Yi was also rushing to the western half. Of course Qian Yi knew that as long as he killed Gang Tengyin in the eastern half, it would definitely attract Grimjiao's attention and wake up immediately. Qian Yi didn't dare to take the two daughters, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, to joke. And Qian Yi doesn't need to make such a joke, because he still has absolute confidence in the safety of the two daughters, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, who can protect them. Of course, Qian Yi also knew that if he wanted to absolutely protect the safety of the two girls. 
What Qian Yi has to do now is only one word. Fast. Qian Yi is definitely faster than Grim Zhao. CDEJ, if Grim Zhao is faster than Qian Yi, then the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane are not just a matter of safety. Waiting for the result of the second daughter, there is only one word. Die. This is not the case, Qian Yi wants the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane to die. It was Grim Zhao, who had to let the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane die. This means that a quick word, a dead word, it became the key to the secret contest between Qian Yi and Grim Zhao. Whoever loses or wins, and who will be better than others, depends on whether the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane are dead or safe. In the western half of Karakura town, Ilbert is still in a stalemate with Matsumoto Rangaku and the second daughter of Katetsu Azane. Although the bull Ilbert is fierce and a little scary, there is not much to do with the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane. Because of Ilbert's arrogance, it's terrifying how big it is, but Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, the two daughters, are not head to head, they are just a display. However, at this time Ilbert, not only was not anxious, but also a little bit happy. Because until this time, Xiao Long, who came with him, still hadn't arrived yet. And Ilbert is gradually getting used to the tactics of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane. Moreover, Ilbert also clearly saw that the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane were also obviously gradually, when their spirits were consumed, some of them couldn't keep up. This means that as long as Ilbert persists for a while, he will not only be able to adapt completely, the tactics of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane are coming, and the two girls are also here, and it is time for them to no longer support the consumption of the soul. In such an ending, the two daughters must die. However, it hasn't waited long for Ilbert to be happy. Ilbert felt it, and a strong sense of oppression came. However, the oppressive feeling of this powerful Reiatsu is no stranger to Ilbert. Because of this sense of oppression, they came to Karakura town this time to kill Kurosaki Ichigo's leader, number 6 Arankar Grimjao. At the same time, the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane also felt that Grimjao's very strong sense of oppression came. The two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, although they were in their hearts, did not feel any fear, but the bones of the two of them were a little disappointed. Therefore, the two daughters at the time were a little oppressed. Not only did some move slowly, but some trembled slightly. The two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, of course, also clearly felt it. This powerful sense of oppression is not only very unfamiliar, but also mixed with the taste of emptiness. No need to guess. The two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane also know that this must be the one. They did not act in advance. The Arankar standing in the black seam is undoubtedly coming. As the strong sense of oppression grew stronger and the peculiar imaginary taste became heavier and heavier, a voice came over, Ilbert. You are really a waste. Chapter 232, Grimjow. Supports the eastern half. Advertise here. Even Shinigami is so weak that you can't kill him. I think you are also so weak that you are too weak. Call magnetic. Boom. With a blast of breaking wind came. Then there was another loud noise. I saw that Ilbert was also knocked out in response. Puff. There was another loud bang, and the bull also responded, smashing it hard to the ground. And this Grimjow did not perform Shikai, nor did it use any skills, but with bare hands, he knocked Ilbert, the bull bull, into the air with one punch. Of course, this is also only Ilbert, neither fight back nor the result of resistance. Therefore, Ilbert at that time did not dare to fight back, let alone resist. Of course Ilbert knew that he could only let Grimjow breathe first. Of course, Ilbert also knew that Grimjow just wanted to teach him a lesson, and would not kill him by killing him. However, what Ilbert didn't expect at all was that Grimjow would not kill him, but it didn't mean that others would not kill him. Although Ilbert made a bang, he fell heavily to the ground. There was a burst of dust, and Ilbert did not cry out in pain. Ilbert endured a little cord and didn't exhale in pain. It does not mean that he will not scream, because he has to scream too. Moreover, Ilbert's scream was also his last scream. Just when Ilbert fell to the ground hard, suddenly, there was a phoenix sound. Following the sound of the phoenix sound, his huge and hard bull head was split apart by a zanpakuto, a knife. Ah, ah, although Ilbert's bull's head was split in half with a single knife, Ilbert still screamed and screamed, and yelled at the last moment. A black mist gradually dissipated into the air along with dust and smoke. And when Grimjow found something wrong and sensed, Ilbert's Reiatsu sense gradually disappeared. However, I saw a young boy who was standing in front of the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane. At this time, Grimjow also stopped, revealing his true face. I saw Grimjow, light blue hair, sky blue eyes. In front of his forehead, there were not only a few bangs hanging down, but also a lake green eye shadow. Grimjow looked like that, very sturdy type. Grimjow's remnant mask was arranged in the shape of teeth and attached to his right face. The, six inches tattoo on the sixth blade, which represents him, is located on the lower right side of the back waist. Grimjow's virtual hole is located in his abdomen. This undoubtedly symbolizes that the form of death is still, destroy. Grimjow, was originally a irritable and cruel Arankar. Because of his own strength, 
He had considerable self-confidence, which made him meet, and everyone he despised should be killed. However, Grimjow is not interested in killing the weak who have no resistance. I saw Grimjow at this moment, still revealing his fierce heart and abdomen. For flowers. Instead, he pulled his long sleeves to the elbow. What Grimjow likes most is that challenging powerful opponents is purely his enjoyment for fighting. Of course, Grimjow's own combat effectiveness is also extremely high. He can easily penetrate the opponent's body with the strength of his bare hands. And Grimjow at this time, after seeing Qian Yi clearly, was also interested. Although until now, Grimjow has not been able to sense that Qian Yi's Reiatsu is coming, but he also understands it very well. You, the three Arankars who have already been killed are obviously the one in front of them. It doesn't look like Shinigami of Shinigami did it. And the Shinigami powerhouse he had been looking for, hidden in the dark, was obviously the young Shinigami in front of him. Of course, it is not to say that Grimjow has not been able to sense Qian Yi's Shinigami god Reiatsu. For a moment, Grimjow felt it. That was the moment Qian Yi shot and killed Ilbert. However, it was only for a moment. As for how strong Qian Yi's Reiatsu is, Grimjow still hasn't sensed it until now. Grimjow only knew that Qian Yi's Reiatsu was very strong, at least better than the five Shinigami fighting here. The current Grimjow also came over clearly. It turned out that he was looking for the strong. It's right in front of his eyes now, and it's still there all the time, just ignored by him. Who are you? Why are you hiding? Are you afraid of me? Grimjow, seeing that he still couldn't sense it now, Qian Yi's Reiatsu came and asked until the ground. Where? Chapter 233 so you are Qian Yi. Advertise here. Joke. Could it be that you are only allowed to hide in the black crevices to be a tortoise, and your uncle is not allowed to play hide and seek? When Qian Yi said this, he stopped, and after looking at Grimjow, he spoke very playfully. If I am not like this, how can I kill all three of your companions? As for my ability, Arankar, who is not named like you, is not only not ranked in front of Aizen, but in front of me, it is also nothing. Of course I know, you also want to learn from me, but with me, can you? That, five or nine zero, is impossible, absolutely impossible. Shut up to me, you are as timid as a mouse, you can only play with the bright Shinigami. Not only do I rank in front of Master Aizen, I am also number 6 Arankar Grimjow. Yaka Jack. If you have the patience, don't hide in the dark and fight with me face to face. I will use my strength to prove that I am the real strong. Grimjow, after listening to Qian Yi's words, also spoke very angrily. Grimjow, now not only wants to kill Qian Yi, but also has a desire to fight Qian Yi. Grimjow turned out to be the traitor Aizen's sixth pug. However, since you all want to fight so much, I, as a thirteenth guard team, the captain of the fifth team, Qian Yi, naturally have to be satisfied, your biggest wish. For Soul Society fifth team, Grim, you should be familiar with it. That's Aizen's original team. After Qian Yi finished speaking to Grimjow, he issued a battle order to the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane. Deputy Captain Matsumoto Rangaku, Deputy Captain Kotetsu Azane. I order you two to immediately rush to the eastern half of Karakura town to support the fighting there. Remember, it must be more to less, so that you can more easily kill the Arankar there. Go ahead and execute it. Qian Yi is not only giving the two daughters, Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane, a combat mission, but also clearly, Grimjow, introducing the status of the two daughters. Moreover, Qian Yi's purpose is not only that. Qian Yi not only wants to keep the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane away from the battlefield between him and Grimjow. It is also sending support to Hitsugaya Toshiro in the eastern half to stabilize the battle. And implement his next, a series of interesting battles. Until then, the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane finally came over. It turned out that their captain Qian Yi had already been beheaded, and three Arankars came. And Grimjow just now was completely irritated by Qian Yi. She was also going to come and fight for a tooth, and kill both of her first. The two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane, of course, also knew it, if not their captain Qian Yi appeared in time and killed Ilbert Arankar with a single blow. The two of them are afraid that they are only for being killed. Matsumoto Rangaku, Hu Chiang and Kotetsu Azane's two daughters, of course, also know that this is not only Qian Yi who is keeping the two of them away from the battle here, but also sending support to the eastern half. In an emergency, the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane did not even respond, so they rushed to the eastern half of Karakura town. Just when the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane flew towards the eastern half of Karakura town. Grimjow just watched, allowing the two girls to support the battlefield in the eastern half, but it didn't seem to be on his mind at all, let alone the slightest intention to stop it. Because Grimjow is very confident, even if the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane rushed to support the battle in the eastern half, it would not have any effect at all. In the eastern half, Dorodoni and D-Roy, these two Arankars, can also handle them perfectly. Grimjow knew very confidently, in the face of real strength. Only with strong strength, no matter how many people there are, it is just too weak to be scumbags, even if there are more, it is useless. After seeing the two daughters of Matsumoto Rangaku and Kotetsu Azane, 
who had disappeared, Grimjiao, then spoke to Qian Yi again. So you are the one, Soul Society 13 Guards, the new captain of the 5th Division, Qian Yi. Why, you also know that I came, is it a little scared, some regret that I met with 4.9? Qian Yi asked with a smile. I heard Master Aizen mentioned you. It's no wonder that I didn't sense that your Reiatsu existed. But for me, it's just that you can't sense your Reiatsu. As for being afraid of you, that is your self-righteousness, and it is impossible for me to have it. And if you regret it, it can only be you. You will regret meeting me Grimjow. I'm not as kind-hearted and broad-minded as Master Aizen. For me, I can only be happy if I kill you. Chapter 234, Qian Yi Dao Breaking Mystery. Advertise here. Grimjow also started talking. Of course, he knew now, why he couldn't sense that Qian Yi's Reiatsu was coming. Of course Grimjow knew that the Shinigami Qian Yi in front of him, but even Aizen Sama could not sense the existence of his Reiatsu. But even so, Grimjow still didn't pay attention to Qian Yi. Although Grimjow knew that Qian Yi in front of him was very strong, he was also very confident that he would be stronger than Qian Yi. So, Grimjow said again, You are strong enough, but in front of me, Grimjow, you still don't see enough, you are still weak enough to be a scumbag Shinigami. You are also pretty good, you are actually Aizen's former Espada. In my opinion, Aizen's top 10 is nothing but so awkward. This is too weak. Although you are Aizen's former Espada, you will not be any more soon. Qian Yi also had a little bit, and he said 23 pairs. However, what Qian Yi said is also true. It's just Grimjiao, I don't know it yet. Because he is so, he will soon be kicked out of Espada by Aizen. However, Grimjiao said, Am I the former Espada of Lord Aizen? You have the final say, and you are not qualified to come. I really don't have that qualification, and I don't rarely have that qualification. However, your Aizen Sama undoubtedly has this qualification. I believe you know it very well yourself. Because you were too disobedient this time, you even brought a few Arankars to violate the present Karakura town. Qian Yi was not only giving Grimjiao a reminder, but also directly said that he broke it. This time, Grimjiao acted privately. How did you know that I didn't tell Master Aizen and brought some of their Arankars to Karakura town? At this moment, Grimjiao, after listening to what Qian Yi said, was also a little frightened secretly. However, Grimjiao was just a little frightened. But he didn't take Qian Yi's reminder to heart, because Grimjiao was very confident. As long as he killed all of Qian Yi's Shinigami, Aizen would not punish him too much. Because Grimjiao also knows that the Shinigami Qian Yi in front of him has the weight in Aizen's heart. Grimjiao at this time, not only didn't take Qian Yi's reminder to heart, but was also a little secretly happy. Grimjiao was pleased. It was Qian Yi. It seemed that God gave him a surprise, a gift he wanted to Aizen. Grimjiao is very confident, as long as he kills this Shinigami Qian Yi. After he returned to, Hueco Mundo, maybe Aizen would not punish him, but would appreciate him even more. So I trust him more, value him, and pay attention to him. But when Grimjiao was thinking about these good things secretly, Qian Yi started talking again. Grimjiao, don't think you are right now. If you think about it, you are also very clear, your eyes and adults, what is the most hated? What is the most jealous? What kind of person is the most intolerable? And Aizen is not, as you said, kind-hearted, fierce and broad-minded. I'm telling you, he is sinister and cunning, cruel, uncut, and never talks about any affection. For him, there is only what he trusts, what is available, he is not against him, and he is very obedient and it's not under the waist. Quote. As for you now, ever since you were disobedient and took Arankar privately to invade, the present Karakura town began. Your ending has been set, and you will never be Aizen's former Espada. Grimjiao, after listening to Qian Yi's words, was also very clear. Because of what Qian Yi said, Grimjiao himself understood quite well. At the same time, it is precisely because of this understanding that Grikam Cho will be after Qian Yi's appearance. Not only is there no fear, but there are some reasons to be happy. 590 because, as long as he kills Qian Yi, maybe Aizen will let him go. It has to be said that the appearance of Qian Yi is precisely Grimjiao's opportunity and the only opportunity for him to make up for it. Not only will Grimjiao not let go of this opportunity, he has to seize it tightly. This is also his chance to survive after returning to, Hueco Mundo. However, the shallow words came from some inappropriate times. Grimjiao, don't think about good things. Not only will I not let you get what you want, but I will also let you two sins. Of course, don't worry, I won't kill you this time. Because you don't need me to kill, and you don't deserve me to kill. But, the accomplices you brought. You don't have to go back to, Hueco Mundo, anymore. Don't think about it, Qian Yi, I know you are a bit strong, but you want to humiliate me, and you want my army to be wiped out. That is absolutely impossible. At this time, Grimjiao also yelled very angrily. Chapter 234, Qian Yi Dao Breaking Mystery. Advertise here. Grimjiao also started talking. Of course, he knew now, why he couldn't sense that Qian Yi's Reiatsu was coming. Of course Grimjiao knew that the Shinigami Qian Yi in front of him, but even Aizen-sama could not sense the existence of his Reiatsu. But even so, 
Grimjiao still didn't pay attention to Qian Yi. Although Grimjiao knew that Qian Yi in front of him was very strong, he was also very confident that he would be stronger than Qian Yi. So, Grimjiao said again, you are strong enough, but in front of me, Grimjiao, you still don't see enough, you are still weak enough to be a scumbag Shinigami. You are also pretty good, you are actually Aizen's former Espada. In my opinion, Aizen's top 10 is nothing but so awkward. This is too weak. Although you are Aizen's former Espada, you will not be any more soon. Qian Yi also had a little bit, and he said 23 pairs. However, what Qian Yi said is also true. It's just Grimjiao, I don't know it yet. Because he is so, he will soon be kicked out of Espada by Aizen. However, Grimjiao said, Am I the former Espada of Lord Aizen? You have the final say, and you are not qualified to come. I really don't have that qualification, and I don't rarely have that qualification. However, your Aizen Sama undoubtedly has this qualification. I believe you know it very well yourself. Because you were too disobedient this time, you even brought a few Arankars to violate the present Karakura town. Qian Yi was not only giving Grimjiao a reminder, but also directly said that he broke it. This time, Grimjiao acted privately. How did you know that I didn't tell Master Aizen and brought some of their Arankars to Karakura town? At this moment, Grimjiao, after listening to what Qian Yi said, was also a little frightened secretly. However, Grimjiao was just a little frightened. But he didn't take Qian Yi's reminder to heart, because Grimjiao was very confident. As long as he killed all of Qian Yi's Shinigami, Aizen would not punish him too much. Because Grimjiao also knows that the Shinigami Qian Yi in front of him has the weight in Aizen's heart. Grimjiao at this time, not only didn't take Qian Yi's reminder to heart, but was also a little secretly happy. Grimjiao was pleased. It was Qian Yi. It seemed that God gave him a surprise, a gift he wanted to Aizen. Grimjiao is very confident, as long as he kills this Shinigami Qian Yi. After he returned to, Hueco Mundo, maybe Aizen would not punish him, but would appreciate him even more. So I trust him more, value him, and pay attention to him. But when Grimjiao was thinking about these good things secretly, Qian Yi started talking again. Grimjiao, don't think you are right now. If you think about it, you are also very clear, your Aizen adults, what is the most hated? What is the most jealous? What kind of person is the most intolerable? And Aizen is not, as you said, kind-hearted, fierce and broad-minded. I'm telling you, he is sinister and cunning cruel, uncut, and never talks about any affection. For him, there is only what he trusts, what is available, he is not against him, and he is very obedient. And it's not under the waist. Quote, As for you now, ever since you were disobedient and took Arankar privately to invade, the present Karakura town began. Your ending has been set, and you will never be Aizen's former Espada. Grimjiao, after listening to Qian Yi's words, was also very clear. Because of what Qian Yi said, Grimjiao himself understood quite well. At the same time, it is precisely because of this understanding that Grikam Cho will be after Qian Yi's appearance. Not only is there no fear, but there are some reasons to be happy. 590 Because, as long as he kills Qian Yi, maybe Aizen will let him go. It has to be said that the appearance of Qian Yi is precisely Grimjiao's opportunity and the only opportunity for him to make up for it. Not only will Grimjiao not let go of this opportunity, he has to seize it tightly. This is also his chance to survive after returning to, Hueco Mundo. However, the shallow words came from some inappropriate times. Grimjiao, don't think about good things. Not only will I not let you get what you want, but I will also let you two sins. Of course, don't worry, I won't kill you this time. Because you don't need me to kill, and you don't deserve me to kill. But, the accomplices you brought, you don't have to go back to, Hueco Mundo, anymore. Don't think about it, Qian Yi, I know you are a bit strong, but you want to humiliate me, and you want my army to be wiped out. That is absolutely impossible. At this time, Grimjiao also yelled very angrily. Chapter 235, Qian Yi Opera Grimjiao. Can or can't, neither you nor I have the final say. Everything depends on the actual situation, and the strength has the final say. If you don't believe me, you can try it. Qian Yi looked at Grimjiao with a smile, and started talking. In addition, he showed a very disdainful expression. Grimjiao sees this, this madness. The qi is like fighting strength, the qi is rising, the top of the qi is smoking, the eyes are flaming, and the blue veins are rising. Thinking of him, Grimjiao, a good family has always been. Only he can't take care of others and dismiss others. How can he be so angry before? Of course, Aizen in, Hueco Mundo, and the two general officers, except Ichimaru Jin and Tusan Konami. Well then, Captain Qian Yi, let's stop playing around, let's see the real chapter. After Grimjiao finished speaking, he went straight to the edge, crack. Leopard King. I saw Grimjiao at this time, like a very capable leopard man. And Zanpakuto of Grimjiao also disappeared. The body has become a leopard. The turquoise eye shadow extends to the six points of the sun. The ears also changed, the blue-green leopard ears came. The hair has become long hair that hangs down to the waist. At this time, Grimjiao's mask had moved to his forehead. 
Grim Zhao even used it, and only a spot O could use it, a special skill Wang Shu's flash. I saw that from the palm of Grim Zhao's hand, a cyan Sero shot out, quickly hitting Qian Yi. At this time, Qian Yi, after seeing Grim Zhao's return, had long been on guard and had an idea. It's too late to say, then it's fast. Just in Grim Zhao's way, when the cyan Sero was about to hit Qian Yi, Qian Yi used Shunpo and disappeared in place. Grim Zhao, at first, when he saw his Wang Shu's flash and about to hit Qian Yi, he was also happy. However, before he was happy, he saw that Qian Yi suddenly disappeared in place. Grim Zhao is so angry, it's not good to be angry, don't want to be angry. Qian Yi, are you not very capable? Why are you only capable of running away? If you have the ability, don't run away, I will have a face-to-face, one-on-one battle. Grim Zhao was also very angry. Grim Zhao, are you stupid, or am I stupid? Do you think I will obediently let you beat you, Sero, your king? Tell you, I'm not that stupid. I won't avoid it, it's up to you to fight. At this time, Qian Yi's laughter came from behind Grim Zhao. You villain who will run away, shrink your head and turtle. Do you think you can get away with it? Grim Zhao released it even more as he spoke, and directly doubled his claws. Two claws came out, a huge blue light mark came, and the claws faced Qian Yi. Obviously, Grim Zhao wanted to cut Qian Yi directly, and he really didn't leave room for an attack. It can be seen how angry Grim Zhao is at this time, and how much he wants to put Qian Yi to death. It's just that Grim Zhao's idea is beautiful, but the fact is, it didn't make him get his wish. I saw that Grim Zhao's claws hadn't arrived yet, but Qian Yi was another Shunpo, instantly on the spot, disappearing without a trace. Ha ha, Grim Zhao, are you too weak, or are you a snail at all? Why are you so slow? You see, it's always with me every time. After waiting impatiently and leaving, you attacked. At your speed, your reaction is too slow. Qian Yi's laughter came from a short distance into Grim Zhao's ears. Qian Yi, I know how you can become the captain of Soul Society's fifth team. It turns out that you are not only too weak to be scumbags, but also too weak to be sensed by Reiatsu. You are also an escape general. If you have a seed, don't run, see if I don't tear you up, and punch your body full of holes, like a hornet's nest. Grim Zhao was very angry again, and yelled angrily. Grim Zhao, if you really want to fight me, then you will chase it. If you catch me, I will fight you. Don't be like a snail again, I don't have the patience to wait for you. After Qian Yi finished speaking, it was another Shunpo and disappeared in place. Li Nuo's Grim Zhao, of course, would not just let Qian Yi go, let go of his last chance. It was also full of firepower, and quickly chased Qian Yi away. However, Qian Yi was a little bit irritating and not slow to the eastern half of Karakura town. The displeasure of Qian Yi here is not to say that Qian Yi's speed is not fast enough, but that he is deliberately preventing Grim Zhao from chasing him, because he is chasing after him and does not know where Qian Yi is going. While in Grim Zhao, chasing Qian Yi and heading to the eastern half of the present Karakura town. Somewhere in this world, Ulziola is carrying Rukia Kuchiki, who has already fainted. Walked out of the black accent from Soul Society to the present Karakura town. Chapter 236, Inoue Orihime is in crisis. Advertise here. I saw Ulziola, still with a blank expression, carefree and joyless. However, after Ulzio pulled out of the black chamber, he didn't make any stop, but in front of him, another black hole appeared, which was a little like a whirlpool. This is Ulziola, the one opened, is the black cavity of, Hueco Mundo, lived by the world. Soon, Ulziola was carrying it, and Rukia Kuchiki entered the black cavity. In, Hueco Mundo, in the Zai Palace, in Aizen's secret room. Urziola pointed to Rukia Kuchiki, who was lying on the ground, still faint, and said to Aizen, Master Aizen. Rukia Kuchiki and Inoue Loom are separated. Ulziola, then you know, where is that Inoue Orihime now? Aizen asked. At this moment, Inoue Orihime is in the boundary between the Corpse 590 Soul World and the present Karakura town. This Rukia Kuchiki, I will leave it to you, I have to rush, Soul Society to the real world, in the world, catch the Inoue Loom. As Ulziola said, he was about to leave the secret room and go to catch Inoue Orihime in the interruption. At this moment, Aizen stopped Ulziola and said, Ulziola, wait a moment, I have something to say to you. Ulziola also stopped immediately. Master Aizen, is there anything else you want to order? It won't be related, that Inoue or Himes. After Ulziola stopped, he looked at Aizen and asked. You are right, it is indeed about the Inoue or Hime. Aizen also said very directly. However, after Aizen finished talking with Urziola, he smiled at Urziola again. Couldn't you be, you have another good idea. Don't tell me, let me guess first. Inoue or Hime, Kurosaki Ichigo. This must have something to do with Kurosaki Ichigo, right? However, Aizen showed another one, and after a smirk, he said, you are only right. This matter is indeed related to Kurosaki Ichigo. However, it is only one of the points. This matter is also about the entire present Karakura town. Even it is also related to the corpse soul rose world. Then you want to turn this Inoue or Hime into their common enemy. Ulziola, when Aizen said so, of course he also thought of the possibility. 
Yes, you are right again. Since you can guess it all, let you do the next thing. Aizen smiled again. Yes, I'll do it now. Ulziola also responded quickly. Ulziola, go and do it. As for what you need, you can get it yourself. You can use what kind of people you need. Just when Ulziola was about to leave, Aizen was CDEJ, very serious and authentic. At this time, Ulziola did not say much. He left Aizen's secret room very directly. Ulziola at this time, of course, also completely, had an idea. In the boundary between Soul Society and the world, Karakura Town. Inoue Orihime was following, and the Hell Butterfly ran along the way, from the broken world to the present Karakura Town. At this time, Inoue Orihime was a little worried and worried. What Inoue Orihime is worried about, this is worrying, Kurosaki Ichigo comes with her friends in this world, her family, and all civilians in this world. At the same time, they are also worried about Chian Yi and the Shinigami who are going to guard the world Karakura Town. However, just when Inoue Orihime, followed the Hell Butterfly all the way, running desperately. I saw that the Hell Butterfly flying in front disappeared very suddenly. Just when Inoue Orihime was a little surprised and a little panicked. But suddenly he was blocked by someone. The current Inoue Orihime has restored Reiatsu's sensing ability, and naturally it is also sensed. The person who appeared suddenly was not Shinigami of Soul Society, but had an imaginary taste. Who are you? What do you want to do? Inoue Orihime asked in a panic. You are Inoue Orihime. I'm Ulziola. I'm here to pick you up too, Hueko Mundo. However, Ulziola was a bit slow, and said indifferently. You don't talk nonsense, I won't go to, Hueko Mundo, with you. Get out of it, I'm going to live in Karakura town. Inoue Orihime, this can't work, you are Aizen-sama, and you personally name the person you need. If you don't follow me to, Hueko Mundo, then how can I complete the task and give Aizen back? However, Ulziola said it again. At this time, Inoue Orihime also knew it, and it was completely useless. Now the road to the world has been blocked by this Ulzio. And Inoue Orihime, also lost the ghost, and has no fighting power. Chapter 237, Inoue Orihime's Thoughts. Advertise here. Besides, Inoue Orihime has just felt that this Ulzio is not only an errand car, but also possibly Aizen's former Espada. Inoue Orihime now has only one way to go to Soul Society. And just when Inoue Orihime ran all the way to Soul Society. Seeing again, Ulziola suddenly appeared on her way, looking at her face free. Seeing this, Inoue Orihime also knew the possibility of her wanting to escape, but there was little hope. So, when I was on the loom, I had no choice but to say, since it is Aizen, let you pick me up too, Hueko Mundo, then you should always know, what's the matter. Of course this is a good thing. For you, it is not only a good thing, but also a great thing. Ulziola said. Whether it's a good or bad thing, I just want to know what's coming. Inoue Orihime said too. Because Aizen-sama, I am interested in your abilities and want you to follow him. Of course, you don't have to do anything, as long as you follow him and ask him to talk obediently. Ulziola was talking again, but it was obviously like drawing a big pie, there was no real thing at all. I don't believe it, you don't come to lie to me, and I will never go, even if I die, I will not go. Inoue Orihime is also very firm. Really, Inoue Orihime, not only can you not help, but if you die right now, your family, friends, relatives, and people you know in Karakura town will all die because of you. Ulziola didn't care a bit, and even said that if Inoue Orihime died, and if you didn't go to, Hueko Mundo, to see Aizen with him, then these people in Karakura town would all die. This is a naked threat, which makes Inoue Orihime a bit dilemma. Inoue Orihime, of course, would not let so many people in Karakura town live for her. However, Orihime also knew that if she wanted to keep them, she had to go to, Hueko Mundo, with him to meet Aizen, as Ulziola said, and obediently let Aizen. So, I went to Orihime and had to ask, can you really speak and count? Inoue Orihime, not only do we count, but we can also let you say goodbye to the person you care about most and beloved. Ulziola said again. Of course, Inoue Orihime also knows that at this time, she has no choice, no escape, and even death is impossible. In other words, the only way she has now is to follow Ulziola and go to, Hueko Mundo, to meet Aizen. Well then, only you can guarantee that I will not harm my family, friends, and relatives in this world, so I will go with you to, Hueko Mundo, to meet Aizen. Inoue Orihime had no choice but to temporarily agree. Inoue Orihime, then you go out with me now. But, you can't give me tricks or scheming. Otherwise, if someone suddenly died or disappeared, it would be too late to regret. Ulziola said when Inoue Orihime agreed. Okay, I promise not. However, I always go to meet my family, friends, and relatives. Inoue Orihime had no choice but to ask Urziola like this. No, you can only stay with me after you go out. Ulziola refused to say very decisively. For flowers. You liar. Didn't you agree to let me go and sue them? Why did you agree, but you didn't believe it? Inoue Orihime asked angrily. Inoue Orihime, I promised you that I would let you meet the person you most want to see. 
I have not repented, nor did I say nothing, this is still counted. It's just that you can only meet one person. As for whom you are going to meet, that's your own decision. Point zero. Of course, no matter who you are going to see, you can't tell him where you are going. If you reveal the news, I don't mind going there myself. However, Ulziola was asking for Orihime, talked about it, and reminded Inoue Orihime. Inoue Orihime also knows that Kurosaki Ichigo is still undergoing hollow training. If you want to see him, it is impossible to see him before Kurosaki Ichigo has finished training. And Inoue Orihime, if she can only meet one person, then she will definitely choose to meet Kurosaki Ichigo. Because Kurosaki Ichigo, in Inoue Orihime's heart, has surpassed everyone. Of course, Inoue Orihime also knows that since she followed Ulziola to Hueko Mundo, and followed Aizen, then she would also say goodbye to Kurosaki Ichigo and farewell to Karakura Town. Therefore, before Orihime leaves and lives in Karakura Town, she must go to meet Kurosaki Ichigo. Inoue Orihime, this is to keep Kurosaki Ichigo in mind forever. So, Orihime made a request to Ulziola again. Where? Chapter 238. Only give two days. Advertise here. Ulziola, just let me see one person. It's just that the person I want to see is not yet available. It will take some time. And I have to see him, and I only go to see him. If I can't see him, even everyone will die because of me, and I won't. Go with you to, Hueko Mundo, to see Aizen. Inoue or Hime, the person you want to see probably needs more before you can see it. It can't be too long. If you have to wait for ten and a half months, then you don't have to. Follow me to, Hueko Mundo, and see Master Aizen. You are all dead, five nine zeros. Ulziola, also very directly and resolutely, said to Inoue Orihime. Naturally, Ulziola also knew a little bit, who was the person that Inoue Orihime wanted to see. Because this time Ulziola, Kurosaki Ichigo, Sato Yasutora, and Ishida Ryu were not found in the present Karakura town. Needless to say, the three Kurosaki Ichigo must be hiding somewhere to strengthen their strength. And no one can find or enter any place. However, Ulziola did not care about this. The person whom Orihime wants to meet must be Kurosaki Ichigo, and the conspiracy of Aizen and Ulziola is to let Inoue Orihime go to see Kurosaki Ichigo. This has to be said, it can be regarded as coincidence. Since they all agreed, Ulziola would naturally agree. That's not the case. The person I want to see will definitely be with this person in two days and will come back. At this moment, it was a little sure and authentic to join Orihime. Because of Inoue Orihime, it is also certain that since Karakura town is now so tight, the form is so severe. Erenkar has already invaded in a large amount. In the present Karakura town, Kurosaki Ichigo and others naturally have to stop intensive training and come out for a fierce battle with Erenkar. Didn't you say it? There are accidents in everything, and there are exceptions. It's just that the order to join Orihime, what I didn't expect at all, is that Kurosaki Ichigo this time was an accident. And Chian Yi made this unexpected exception. Due to the appearance of Chian Yi, Erenkar invaded Karakura town this time. Not only Kurosaki Ichigo three people will not come out to fight, even Yurahara Kazuki and Yorichi, as well as Xiao Yu, Xiao Shi will not come to fight. Hiroko Shinji of the Masked Legion is not only responsible for the most critical hollow training for Kurosaki Ichigo, but also, without Chian Yi's order, Hiroko Shinji would not come out to fight. Okay, then, I promise you that, but it's limited to two days. After two days, either you will go with me to, Hueko Mundo, to see Master Aizen, or you will all die. While Ulziola agreed to Inoue Orihime, he also gave the final announcement. Therefore, Ulziola took Orihime with him and quickly left the boundary and returned to the present Karakura town. Because there are restrictions in the boundary, even if it is, Ulziola Cipher, who is already number. 4 Erenkar, does not wait to stay for too long. Of course, Ulziola, as the scientist of, Hueko Mundo, has his own way to hide it. And it will not be monitored by Seoul Society, Technology Development Bureau, Research Center, Remote Rayatsu Monitoring Receiver, and discovering his existence. However, now because of Inoue Orihime, Ulziola will no longer hide in the subspace. In the mountain behind the masked army base, the valley training ground. Now Kurosaki Ichigo's hollow training has indeed reached a critical moment. In a desperate situation, Naoko Hiroko has not only brought Kurosaki Ichigo to a special training ground, but also asked Hachigan to use the most appropriate hole cards to force Kurosaki Ichigo and control it. With all the members guarding, they are ready to go all out. Of course, for Hiroko Shinji, what he is thinking about now is naturally that their Captain Chian Yi can solve Erenkar who is entering the house early, and rush back to save the field earlier. At this time, in Karakura town, the eastern half of the battlefield, the battle was fierce and fierce. And Chian Yi has been chased by Grimjiao to the battlefield in the eastern half. The speechless D. Roy was in Karakura town at this time, the battlefield in the western half. I saw number 16 Erenkar D. Roy, but it was green shredded hair of ice water, and the eyes were also very distinctive, with grey 4.9 outer pupils and black inner pupils. It looks a little thin on the outside, with very special serrated teeth. De Roy's mask is worn on top of his head, in the shape of a large hat. 
For D. Roy's ability, this time, Grimm brought the Erencar to Karakura Town, which is too weak. Originally, when D. and Roy played against Kira alone, De Roy did not take Kira seriously. Indy Roy thinks that he wants to kill Kira, it couldn't be simpler and easy. Chapter 239, The Rapid Change of the Battlefield Advertise here, it's just that the battlefield is changing rapidly, and anything can happen. And indeed, Roy had just met Kira, not long. The battlefield is ushered in a tremendous change. Because of Qian Yi's sudden appearance, he was so thunderous that he quickly killed Gang Tang Burn with one move. And until Gang Tang Yin was given a second by Qian Yi, Di and Roy were also unable to sense Qian Yi's Reiatsu. This made De Roy even more horrified. And Di and Roy also came over immediately. This mysterious Shinigami must be a very powerful, super captain of Soul Society. Fortunately, this mysterious and powerful captain Shinigami came and went fast, and disappeared without a trace in the blink of an eye. Originally, D and Roy thought that the next one was his. I also regretted that I followed Grimjow and came to the world Karakura town. In fact, this is also normal and human nature. What's more, it's still like D. Roy, it's not easy, but Aizen is the Erencar from Espada. D. Roy, seeing that mysterious and powerful Captain Shinigami, must have left, and finally as if he was relieved, he sighed deeply. However, it also made D. Roy quite puzzled. Why did this mysterious and powerful Captain Shinigami leave again? It's just that when D, Roy, and Kira were fighting, they also thought about this. But he saw that Shinigami, who had just fought with Gentbayan just now, had joined his circle of battle. D. Roy also cursed in his heart. You damn Shinigami, why don't you go there to help deal with it? Dorudoni comes, but he wants to deal with me two to one. As for Aburai Renji, he didn't know that D. Roy thought so at this time. However, even if Aburai Renji knew about it, he would still do it. Because this was not only what Qian Yi commanded him when he left. As for Aburai Renji, it can also be seen that Arankar, who is playing against Kira, is the weakest among the three Arankars from the eastern half. Who said that you can't pinch according to Soft Persimmon? At this time Aburai Renji, just want to pinch according to Soft Persimmon. Aburai Renji, of course, knows it too, just as Captain Qian Yi said. He has to cooperate with Kira, and kill the Soft Persimmon first. Only then can we help Captain Hitsugaya Tashiro and kill the remaining Arankar. Because Aburai Renji also knows that at this time, the Arankar that is still in the Black Sea must be the strongest of these Arankars. If the guess is correct, the Arankar, not only this time Aizen sent to attack, Arankar, the leader of the present Karakura town, will also be the former Espada of Aizen. Therefore, Aburai Renji also knows that they must hurry up. Before the former Espada did not start, they would kill all the three Arankars in the eastern half. They might be able to deal with it, Aizen's top ten swords. Arankar comes. Although Captain Qian Yi was strong, he could kill all these Arankars, but Captain Qian Yi was originally guarding the western half of Karakura town. In the western half, there were also two Arankars rushing away. The battlefield in the western half also needed the assistance of Captain Qian Yi. Otherwise, just with Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane as the two deputy captains, I am afraid it will be difficult to deal with. And when Aburai Renji, joined, Kira and D. Roy after the battle. D. Roy also knew that he wanted to easily kill these two Shinigami, I'm afraid it's impossible. However, D. Roy didn't care anymore at this time. And D. and Roy just thought that it was only a matter of time that he wanted to kill the two Shinigami. And D, Roy were also fighting, Kira and Aburai Renji, and I was very disdainful. Even if you hit one with two, what can you do? My number 16 Arankar D. Roy, I will kill you both as usual. I haven't paid 593 for a long time, and I have sucked the delicacy of your Shinigami's soul. It seems that God is taking care of me so that I can enjoy the delicacy of both of you alone. I think it's time for you two to report your name, so that after I suck the deliciousness of you two, I know who you are, maybe I have time to spare, I will call you both. Here comes the name. Aburai Renji, Deputy Captain of the 6th Division of the 13th Guard. Kira, Deputy Captain of the 9th Division of the 13th Guard. After hearing D. Roy's words, Aburai Renji and Kira also reported their names and titles. As for Kira and Aburai Renji, they just reported their names and titles. D. Roy smiled and said, My luck is not bad, but the two Deputy Captains are actually here, then I will say something for you two first, thank you very much. Dai Roy, don't be too confident. The reason why we will tell you my name and title is to let you know who killed you. Chapter 240, Four People Encircled. Advertise here. And just after Roy's voice stopped at D, Aburai Renji said. Stop talking nonsense, are you a little impatient to see me? D and Roy also said as they stepped up their offense. Obviously, this D, Roy, not only faced each other alone, Kira and Aburai Renji, Shinigami, were a bit dissatisfied, but really wanted to absorb the spirit of the two Shinigami quickly. However, it's just D and Roy who don't know. At this time, Aburai Renji and Kira are both limited by Soul Society's Reiatsu, so they seem a little weak in this way. Otherwise, I am afraid that D. Roy would have been beheaded by Kira and Aburai Renji. The battle between Hitsugaya Tashiro and Dorudoni was completely different. Against Hitsugaya Tashiro, number. 
103 Arankar, Alexander Sokakio. Dorodoni has the beard of Rendon and is an uncle who likes to play big treasures the most. He also calls himself, my generation, and is very good at kicking. The mask was in the shape of a forehead, and an earring was pierced on the right ear. After Qian Yi's conspiracy succeeded after fighting Hitsugaya Toshiro, he learned that Hitsugaya Toshiro was the captain of Soul Society's 10th squad, and he paid tribute to Hitsugaya Toshiro. However, after seeing Hitsugaya Toshiro, who was powerful, he was directly liberated by the sword. Spin. Baron Storm. I saw that Duludoni, two whirlwinds emerged from the bend of his legs. These two whirlwinds can be manipulated at will with Dorudoni's consciousness. That's not even counted. Dorudoni, from time to time, using both hands, index and tail fingers, fired Red Sero to carry out sneak attacks on Hitsugaya Toshiro. Of course, Hitsugaya Toshiro, the handsome boy who has become a little Junktai, was not built. A chain is connected to a crescent, and from time to time it almost locks Dorudoni's actions. And the bird icicles of Hitsugaya Toshiro made Dorudoni even suffer. This is really quite evenly matched. However, Hitsugaya Toshiro, wanting to kill Dorudoni at this point, is also somewhat difficult. Of course, if Hitsugaya Toshiro's Reiatsu is not restricted by Soul Society, then it's a different matter. However, it is precisely because of this that the personnel in charge of the Soul Society's Technology Development Bureau, the Research and Development Center, and the Remote Reiatsu Monitoring Room. O did not receive a request from Hitsugaya Toshiro and others for the liberation of Reiatsu. And just when D, Roy, some thought he was about to succeed. However, two women, Shinigami, came rushing from the direction of the western half. Of course, these two female Shinigami, Chian Yi asked them to rush over to support the eastern half of the battlefield, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane too came to the captain. The two women, Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane, joined the battle between Kira and Aburai Renji as soon as they arrived on the eastern half of the battlefield. At this moment, De Roy saw this with a black line on his face. My dear, it's my De Roy's luck, or because I'm too weak, they are making me a soft persimmon. But when I only heard Matsumoto Rangaku, he said, Kira. Aburai Renji, it is our leader, Chian Yi, who asked me to come and support. And Katetsu Azane said again, the Chian Yi team asked me to tell you, let the four of us kill this Arankar as soon as possible, and then help the Hitsugaya Toshiro team. At this time, D, Roy, is a bit bitter. Originally, he thought that he was about to succeed, and he was about to enjoy Shinigami's delicious meal. He never thought that the rapid changes in this old battlefield had changed to him again. There is no alternative, that is, to take out all of his strength and go all out to fight. However, D. Roy also hopes that Grimjao will also give these Shinigami a rapid change. Of course, Dorudoni at this time was also a little frightened in the same way. What's the situation with this mess? Where is Grimjao, who is staying in the black seam? Why is it gone? After Dorudoni knew that the battlefield was a little unfavorable for them, Dorudoni also increased the intensity and speed of his attack, and attacked Hitsugaya Toshiro. This Dorudoni also wanted to kill Hitsugaya Toshiro as soon as possible, Li Nuohau, so as to relieve D. Roy's siege. But at this moment, bursts of dialogue sound came from not far from the battlefield and came to the village. Qian Yi, you bastard tortoise who can only hide around. Could it be that you only have the ability to escape? Grimjao, who was chasing, was still behind Qian Yi, chasing and cursing. At this time, Qian Yi also stopped, smiling to the back, and Grimjao, who was chasing, hooked his finger and said. Grimjao, you really are a snail. I have to wait for you to get some, and the day lily is almost cold. You haven't eaten for many days. Chapter 241 Misfortune leads to the east. Advertise here. Qian Yi said here, but he paused for a while and said, Grimjao. What a bastard tortoise. You will know in a moment that only you, a snail, is the most suitable. Only when Grimjao stopped and calmed down, he found something that seemed to be wrong. Therefore, Grimjao heard the sound of fighting and shouting not far away. Qian Yi, you deliberately attracted me, right here on the battlefield. After Grimjao understood it a little, he asked directly. Yeah, Grimjao, don't you like to come here, or what are you afraid of? Qian Yi asked with a smile. Qian Yi, don't be proud, you want to take the opportunity to kill my two companions too. Grimjao, of course, immediately understood that Qian Yi deliberately brought him here with 593's intentions. Yeah, it is true. Originally, I could come alone and kill them all, but without your Grimjao's participation, it would be less fun. Qian Yi also admitted very readily and directly. He attracted Grimjao, the intention of the eastern half of the battlefield. Ha 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 ha. Grimjao laughed for a while, and said, Qian Yi. You are too arrogant and defiant. At that time, I don't know who is the audience. Grimjao, there is nothing funny, if you disagree, we can speak with our strength. I'm not forbidden to kill you, Shinigami of our soul society. However, if you just want to kill, it depends on whether you have that strength. Grimjao, next, let's use our strength to speak, and use actual, CDEJ, strength to prove everything. After Qian Yi said this, he hooked his finger at Grimjao again and showed an innocent smile. This is not only Qian Yi watching Grimjao in the ministry, but also declaring war on Grimjao. 
At this time, Grimjiao was really a little angry and furious. Grimjiao didn't speak anymore, and he didn't say anything anymore. Since Qian Yi ignored him, and at this level, he had challenged him to the door. Grimjiao didn't hesitate to make a noise, and then went to Matsumoto Rangaku and the others. Obviously, this Grimjiao wanted to come to a surprise, and use his actions to prove himself. Grimjiao, of course, also wanted to take advantage of the chaos and kill Matsumoto Rangaku and the others. It's just that Grimjiao wants to talk about speed, but he has miscalculated again. He wanted to be fast, but Qian Yi was faster than him. Qian Yi implemented the plan, but Qian Yi was a shunpo. In Grimjiao, they had not yet arrived. Matsumoto Rangaku and the others were fighting against Di and Roy. Qian Yi suddenly appeared behind Di and Roy. Since Qian Yi has not yet Shikai, his Reiatsu has naturally not been released yet. Even if Qian Yi had clearly arrived, behind Di Roy, but Di Roy could perceive it at all. At this time, not only Grimjiao was shocked, but Matsumoto Rangaku and the four Shinigami were also a little surprised. Qian Yi, stop it. You are a sinister and cunning villain. It's just that Grimjiao's roar hasn't stopped. It was a phoenix cry, but it came suddenly. At the same time, D, Roy, Erenkar, was also cut in half by Qian Yi's, Fei Fang. With the appearance of Black Fog, De Roy, number 16 Erenkar, also disappeared without a trace. D, Roy was originally very scared, the mysterious and powerful Captain Shinigami shot him. But in the end, De Roy still failed to escape, and this result came. Still running with all their strength, Matsumoto Rangaku and their Grimjiao, seeing this behind the scenes, are completely stupid. Although Grimjiao also knew that Qian Yi's speed was fast, he did not expect it to be so fast. So fast. As a result, Grimjiao also yelled angrily, Qian Yi, I will kill you, I will only run away, only a bastard who can only play tricks. However, Grimjiao had never thought about how Qian Yi, the fleeing general, escaped, and how he couldn't pursue him. Grimjiao, even though he kept saying that Qian Yi was playing tricks, asking for small tricks, and he himself had never been so, and he had never wanted to. However, Grimjiao does not have the ability of Qian Yi, nor the strength of Qian Yi. At this time, not only was Grimjiao so surprised, Qian Yi was so fast. Even the four deputy captains Matsumoto Rangaku and Aburai Renji were equally surprised. At this time, Hitsugaya Tashiro and Dorudoni, because they are in a fierce battle, have no knowledge of this scene. The saddest thing is that D. Roy died until his death, not only Qian Yi's name, but also Qian Yi's appearance, D and Roy hadn't been able to see clearly, so Qian Yi gave him a shot. Chapter 242, Qian Yi's strategy is compelling. Advertise here. But Qian Yi was there, after beheading D Roy Arankar with a single knife. So they immediately ordered Matsumoto Chaos and Aburai Renji. Four of you, hurry, hurry, go and stop the Arankar that is coming for me. However, you can only stop, and you must not love to fight with it. This Arankar is Aizen's former Espada, number 6 Arankar Grimjiao. If you are older, be careful. I will also let Captain Hitsugaya Tashiro come to support you later. Go. Just after Qian Yi's instructions, Matsumoto Rangaku also shouted, Let's go. So, the four figures immediately rushed to Gree, Myo. Grimjiao sees this, but he is not angry but happy. Qian Yi, you still know me, and you have sent people to my door. However, Grimjiao stopped at this time and waited for the arrival of Matsumoto Rangaku and the four Shinigami. Want to kill these Shinigami, isn't it the purpose of Grimjiao, what Grimjiao thinks? At this moment, Grimjiao was thinking about what the arrogant Captain Qian Yi would look like after he killed all the four Shinigami he sent here. Soon, the four deputy captains Matsumoto Rangaku, Kotetsu Azain, Aburai Renji, and Kira blocked Grimjiao from the way and formed a siege to Grimjiao. At this time, Qian Yi, you have completed the task of beheading number 16 Arankar D. Roy. Get the event reward. Spiritual power plus 2-0. Qian Yi didn't take care of it at all. This so-called reward came, but a Shunpo came to Hitsugaya Tashiro's side. At this time, Duludoni stopped the attack and jumped out of the circle. Qian Yi didn't pay attention to Duludoni, but said to Hitsugaya Tashiro. Hitsugaya Tashiro, this Arankar, give me me. You hurry up to support, Aburai Renji and the four of them. Good. Just when Hitsugaya Tashiro was about to run towards Grimjiao, Qian Yi reminded him again. Hitsugaya Tashiro, that Arankar, is Aizen's former Espada, number 6 Arankar Grimjiao, you can only take it by accident, you can't attack or fight, let alone fight alone. Hitsugaya Tashiro, after seeing Qian Yi finished speaking, also nodded, and ran towards Grimjiao. Hey hey, I thought you were going to beat one by two. You were really loyal. At this time, Duoludoni, after seeing Hitsugaya Tashiro's departure, talked to Qian Yi after he left. However, although Duoludoni heard the conversation between Qian Yi and Hitsugaya Tashiro, he didn't care. In Dorudoni, but it is very clear that their commander Grimjiao. Even if Hitsugaya Tashiro and the others, the five Shinigami attacked Grimjiao with all their strength, Grimjiao would be able to deal with it freely. These Shinigami will not be Grimjiao's opponents at all, just like moths to the fire they are going to die. However, Qian Yi smiled and asked Dorudoni, are you ready? 
What do you mean? What do you want me to prepare? But Dorodoni asked in a somewhat unclear manner. Of course it is to do a good job of dying and enlightenment. Qian Yi answered. Dot dot dot. For flowers. Wow. You are really my puppet. You speak so domineeringly. Admire. Admire. The courage is commendable. After Dorodoni said this, he changed his words again. You probably don't know who I am. I am number 103 Arankar Dorodoni. Oh, so you are not Aizen's former Espada. Then I seem to have chosen the wrong one, and I am going to kill the target. Qian Yi was very disdainful. Don't underestimate me. Although I am not the former Espada, we have already surpassed the existence of the former Espada. Dorodoni said again. Really, are you begging me to kill you? Qian Yi smiled again. You can't do it. You are simply too weak to be scumbags, and I will be able to kill them on behalf of Guntendian. They will be beheaded by you. I feel very worthless, Dorodoni said. Dorodoni, let me ask you, how do you want to die? However, Qian Yi was very straightforward. If you say that, I'm a little unhappy. Believe it or not, I Dorodoni, if I want to kill you, it will be enough. However, Dorodoni was also very disdainful after hearing Qian Yi's words. Sword, I think so. It is indeed enough to deal with you. It seems that you really deserve to be Dorodoni. Not only is it a god, but also quite self-knowing. Qian Yi is also not worried. After Hitsugaya Tashiro went, he would have time and leisure in the Battle of Grimjou to come and have fun with Dorodoni. Then I want to see how capable Shinigami, even Reiatsu, can't be felt. But Dorodoni was, and he was liberated directly with the sword. Spin. Baron Storm. Fan. Chapter 243. Killing you is enough. Advertise here. I saw that Duludoni, two whirlwinds emerged from the bend of his legs. And these two whirlwinds can be controlled at will with Dorodoni's consciousness. Similarly, from time to time, Durudoni used the index and tail fingers of both hands to launch a red sero to attack Qian Yi. Are you so anxious to die? Okay, I'll be a good person to the end and send the Buddha to the west. Quote. A knife. Coming. Qian Yi saw Duludoni and immediately after liberation, and attacked, also smiled Yin Yin. A phoenix sound rang, and Fei Julian's phoenix suddenly appeared. One, five nine three, knife. Another knife. Duludoni was still on the route to attack Qian Yi, but Qian Yi, who appeared behind him at some unknown time, cut it in half with a knife. The black energy rose up and dissipated invisible, number 107 Arankar Dorodoni, also followed in the footsteps of D. Roy. You have completed the beheading of number 107 Arankar Dorodoni. Get the event reward. Spiritual power plus 2 What? While talking to the five Hitsugaya Tashiro, the Grimjow who responded to me, after seeing Dorodoni, who was also beheaded by Qian Yi, he roared again and again. Grimjow, while angry, wanted to rush towards Qian Yi. At this moment, Grimjow can't wait to swallow Qian Yi alive, divide the corpse with five horses, and smash the corpse into thousands of pieces before he can relieve his hatred. But no matter how Grimjow rushed, he couldn't rush through. Hitsugaya Tashiro and the five of them surrounded the circle. Grimjow, it is really anxious now, because just as Qian Yi said, he is now annihilated, and he is only a light commander. Grimjow, who brought the world Karakura town privately this time, and his five Arankars, were all beheaded. Moreover, they were all newly killed by that Qian Yi, alone. Of course, Grimjow originally planned to fight Qian Yi first after killing all the other five Shinigami except Qian Yi. Grimjow, the reason why he wants to do this is that Qian Yi has already beheaded and the three Arankars he brought, the other is that he wants them, the remaining three Arankars, to surround Qian Yi in case Qian Yi ran away again. Regarding the speed of Qian Yi's escape, Grimjow was really troubled and very helpless. Grimjow also realized the speed of Qian Yi. Even if he turned the sound to the extreme, he still couldn't catch up with Qian Yi. Ever since, Grimjow came up with such a bad idea. Because Grimjow not only wanted to kill all five of Hitsugaya Tashiro, the key was to kill Qian Yi. Grimjow, of course, also knew that only after he killed all of Qian Yi and Shinigami, and returned to, Hueko Mundo, he would have a trace of immunity. But now, Grimjow knows even more that after he returned to, Hueko Mundo, the punishment of these two crimes was unified. Grimjow, can't avoid it, and can't avoid it. It's just that because of Hitsugaya Tashiro and the five of them, this offensive and defensive tactic. He Grim, just said that he wanted to kill the five Hitsugaya Tashiro, even breaking the defense was a problem. It's just that Hitsugaya Tashiro and the others also want to kill Grimjow, which is also a lot of obstacles, even the slightest possibility. At this time, Qian Yi did not take part in the battle after taking Dorodoni with one sword. But on the side, I watched in a very leisurely manner. Of course, this is not to say that Qian Yi is free, nor is it that he ignores Grimjow. This is Qian Yi deliberately attacking Grim, ignoring Grimjow, and disdainful of Grimjow. Sure enough, Grimjow, after seeing Qian Yi acting like this, although he didn't vomit blood for three liters, he went straight away. And now in, Hueko Mundo. In Aizen's secret room. Rukia Kuchiki also woke up and turned around. When Rukia Kuchiki opened his eyes, he saw Aizen standing not far away, looking at her with a smirk. Aizen, what are you going to do? Rukia Kuchiki, 
also a little knowingly, asked. After eyes and Yinyan smiled, he said, Rukia Kuchiki. Long time no see. What am I going to do? Is this still necessary? Of course it is Hogyoku in the body. You are mean and shameless. Rukia Kuchiki is only so authentic. Ha ha, Rukia Kuchiki. No one can save you now, and no one can find you. 4.9. And you can only do things for me. Your Hogyoku is destined to belong to me. However, don't worry, I won't kill you after taking Hogyoku from your body. Of course, you can neither go back to the present Karakura town nor the Soul Society. You can only stay obediently in, Hueko Mundo, in the Palace of the Void. In fact, even if Aizen doesn't say anything, Rukia Kuchiki knows that where she is at this time, it should be in, Hueko Mundo, Aizen's Palace of the Night. What Aizen has to do is to take away the Hogyoku in her body, and let him get the power of Hogyoku. Chapter 244, Rukia Kuchiki's Helplessness. Advertise here. Even at Rukia Kuchiki, she hadn't been able to stand up yet, but she felt a piercing pain. What? Rukia Kuchiki, also involuntarily, let out a cry of pain. At this time, the Hogyoku in her body was already in Aizen's hands. Of course, it's not that Rukia Kuchiki didn't want to stand up after waking up, but that she couldn't stand up at all. In Alziola, after taking Rukia Kuchiki abducted to, Hueko Mundo, and brought to this secret room, he used a mysterious medicine to control Rukia Kuchiki. After Aizen took out the Hogyoku in Rukia Kuchiki, he forcibly gave it to Kuchiki 23 Rukia a pill. Then with a yin smile, Rukia Kuchiki said, Rukia Kuchiki. Take good care of your injuries and adjust your breath. It won't be long before Orihime will come to accompany you. The live broadcast of the monitoring room Aizen left the secret room after saying this to Rukia Kuchiki. Rukia Kuchiki, after listening to Aizen's words, was also shocked. Inoue Orihime. What does Inoue Orihime do when Aizen wants it again? At this time, Rukia Kuchiki was not only desperate for herself, but also worried about Inoue Orihime. Of course, Rukia Kuchiki also knows that the person who took her from the black accent, Hueko Mundo, must have taken Inoue Orihime again. Since that person can find the black accent from Soul Society to the present Karakura town, then he must also be able to find the boundary from Soul Society to the present Karakura town. Until then, Rukia Kuchiki, although she had seen the Eren car with green eyeliner, she only knew that it was the Eren car who took her to, Hueko Mundo. But Rukia Kuchiki did not know that this is number 4 Erenkar Ulzio. At this time, Rukia Kuchiki is also worried about whether Soul Society already knows that she has been taken captive to, Hueko Mundo. According to common sense, as soon as Rukia Kuchiki was taken from Karakura town, he was taken captive by Ulziola to, Hueko Mundo. In the Reiatsu supervisory room of Soul Society, Reiatsu monitors the receiver and it will be spotted immediately. However, this did not happen. The Soul Society technology started, and all the Reiatsu receiver sensors in the research center's monitoring room were all business as usual, as if they were out of order. Rukia Kuchiki was taken to, Hueko Mundo, by Elziola. But Soul Society monitors Rukia Kuchiki's Reiatsu, but everything is business as usual. Because of Rukia Kuchiki's Reiatsu, not only did it not disappear, but it was still business as usual. Needless to say, this is also the ghost of Elziola, the scientist of, Hueko Mundo. As for how Elziola did it, no one else will know. Now Rukia Kuchiki is very worried about Inoue Orihime, but she has nothing to do. She can only wait for Inoue Orihime to come to, Hueko Mundo, and ask what is coming. And in Seoul Society, the Technology Research Center of the Technology Development Bureau. In the monitoring room of the Technical Research Center, all the staff are paying attention intently to the Reiatsu monitoring sensor display from the present Karakura town. Since, they have known the present Karakura town on the sensor display, and they have Erenkar, even Aizen's former Espada, after invading the present Karakura town. It is always watching closely and nervously. I don't dare to have anything at all, sloppy and sloppy. Look, Erenkar's red dot, which has two dots, moved quickly to the west of the present Karakura town. That must be an attack, guarding Captain Chian Yi in the West District, and the two deputy captains Matsumoto Rangaku and Katetsu Azane. Since these staff members are responsible for guarding the monitoring and receiving sensors, of course they will also know the guarding situation of Karakura town in the present world. Look, why are there only two green dots in the Western District? Captain Chian Yi, isn't there three of them? This is normal, Chian Yi's Reiatsu, in general, it is impossible to monitor at all. Those two points were just the two deputy captains brought by Captain Chian Yi. Spray. There are three more red dots at 593, which are moved to the east, and one red dot remains untouched. But this red dot is the biggest one. It must be Aizen's former Espada. Quote. Disappeared. One of the red dots moving to the west side suddenly disappeared. Yeah, it must have been killed by Captain Chian Yi. Captain Chian Yi is really awesome. Moving to the west, the red that moved down has already collided with the green dot in the west. Why are the three green dots in the east side moving, what are they going to do? Does this need to be asked? They must be in the downtown area, they are leading Erenkar to the mountains. The red dots and the green recording dots in the eastern district have also met together. In this monitoring room, it was very lively. 
These people really deserve to be professional, and the analysis of this pass is like a live broadcast. Look at it, one of the red dots in the Eastern District has also disappeared. Chapter 245, so it's all because of Captain Qian Yi. Advertise here. This must be done by Hitsugaya Toshiro, Hitsugaya Toshiro. Come on. Gradually, as time went by, another call came from the monitoring room. Look. The big red dot has moved to the west. It seems that Captain Qian Yi is in trouble. Trouble you ass. Captain Qian Yi is not built, it's just an eyes and a spada, it's not easy to come by. Here, the big red dot has merged with the war zone in the west side. It's just that we haven't waited for how long everyone's heart is stretched. The little red dot in the west side has also disappeared. Yeah, Captain Qian Yi is really praised. We deserve to be our idol. Hey. What's the matter? How did the two green dots in the west side move to the east side? Why didn't the big red dot move? That must be against Captain Qian Yi. After a short while, someone screamed again. Wow. Look at it quickly, is this in Kuno in the eastern district? It turned out to be four green dots surrounded by a red dot. At this time, someone screamed again. Look at it, De Hong has moved, and is also moving towards the east side. At this time, all the personnel in the monitoring room not only opened their eyes wide, but also immediately showed interest. Here, the big red dot is in the eastern district. Alas, as the big red dot watching the excitement, why didn't it move? Then you need to ask, it must have been stopped by Captain Qian Yi. No, didn't the big red dot move? Quote, yeah, the little red dot in the eastern district that was beaten up by the group disappeared again, and was finally killed. Look, everyone, the big red dot is going to be beaten up by the four green dots. No, it should be a group of five green dots. Look, the big green dot has moved over too. At this time, the staff in the Soul Society monitoring room became even more excited. Yeah, the remaining little red dot has also disappeared. It must have been given by Captain Qian Yi again. Ha ha, now Erenkar, there is only one polished commander left. It seems that Qian Yi and Hitsugaya Toshiro don't need to lift Reiatsu restrictions this time. At this time, the staff in the monitoring room were also relieved. At this moment, there was a staff member who suddenly asked. You said, what's the matter with Rukia Kuchiki? The staff member pointed to a green spot in Karakura town. Is there anything wrong with this? Yes, in theory, this green dot should indeed be to rush to support Rukia Kuchiki in Karakura town. This green dot has not moved since it appeared in Karakura town. This is indeed a bit unusual. However, fortunately, Reiatsu is still there. Would you like to inform, Captain Qian Yi and the others, send someone to rush over and have a look. It's better to wait a moment, and wait for Captain Qian Yi and Captain Hitsugaya Toshiro. They have finished the battle, and it will not be too late to notify. Give me some Reiatsu from Rukia Kuchiki, and stare at me. As soon as there is a situation, report it to Jing Ling Ting. On the battlefield in the eastern part of Karakura town. Grimjiao, who had already gone violently, really looked like a crazy leopard king at this time. Katetsu Azane and Kira, both of Katetsu Azane and Kira, have already suffered heavy losses with the blue and blue Wang Shu's flash that only a spada can. And Hitsugaya Toshiro and the five of them did not dare to approach at all, they were all paying attention to Grimjiao's claws of the leopard king. Indeed, Grimjiao's leopard king's claw is also very powerful. Once touched, Grimjiao's double claws, the two claws, the huge blue light marks, will be cut and split. On the battlefield where Grimjiao was fought, there were wolves that were cut and destroyed by the blue light marks everywhere. Seeing this situation, Qian Yi naturally stopped playing and didn't wait anymore. At this moment, Qian Yi is holding Mickey now in his right hand, and resting his left hand on the blade. Bankai. Nine Feather Lianfang. Chang. Came with a phoenix sound. The Zanpakuto in Qian Yi's hands also changed immediately. The knives and darts have turned into colorful birds flying. Moreover, at this moment, Qian Yi, around him, can still vaguely see the phantom of a colorful bird with a single feather coming. At this time, Qian Yi's Reiatsu, Li Nuo Zhao, was not only released. Qian Yi's spiritual power and Reiatsu were both immediately doubled at this moment. It doesn't need to be asked, Qian Yi is going to personally, formally appear on the stage, personally come to play against Grimjiao. I saw that Qian Yi was another Shunpo, and he was standing on the opposite side of Grimjiao. At this time Qian Yi's powerful Reiatsu not only surprised Grimjiao. Even Hitsugaya Toshiro and the five of them were a little overwhelmed. They were all oppressed, and some of them began to gasp. Hitsugaya Toshiro, go back aside, Grimjiao will hand it over to me. Seeing this, Qian Yi also immediately responded, Hitsugaya Toshiro and the five of them said. Chapter 246, Desperate Grimjiao. The five Hitsugaya Toshiro also retreated. At this time, Grimjiao also stopped attacking and calmed down a bit. His excitement came. Although Grimjiao saw it, Hitsugaya Toshiro and the five of them backed away, and they didn't mean to stop at all. Because Grimjiao, what I want to kill most now is Qian Yi standing in front of him. And this Soul Society, the monitoring room of the Technology Research Center. Wow, look, everyone, Captain Qian Yi has finally appeared. 
What? Captain Qian Yi's Reiatsu. What happened to Captain Qian Yi's Reiatsu? How come Captain Qian Yi's Reiatsu is so powerful? Didn't they all limit Reiatsu to the people in Karakura town? Yes, from the current Reiatsu test conducted by Captain Qian Yi, his Reiatsu is not restricted by Soul Society's Reiatsu at all. 597, that's right. How could it be possible that the Arankars earlier could kill those Arankars in such a short time? This makes sense, why Captain Qian Yi and Captain Hitsugaya Tashiro, after encountering such a powerful Arankar, did not apply to Soul Society to lift their Reiatsu restrictions. It seems that from the beginning, it was in Captain Shallow's plan. And all this seems to be what Captain Qian Yi did on purpose. That's right, the leader of Qian Yi, who wanted to come to us, didn't show up as Shinigami from the beginning, but secretly beheaded those Arankars. Of course, my Soul Society's remote Reiatsu monitoring, the receiver can't detect it. Reiatsu of Captain Qian Yi is here. Those Arankars must not be able to sense the slightest bit of Captain Qian Yi's Reiatsu. This is not to say that even if Captain Qian Yi is standing in front of those Arankars, they will only think that Captain Qian Yi is just an ordinary person, and they will not think that Captain Qian Yi is also Shinigami God. The people in the entire monitoring room were all talking. They were all exclaiming, Captain Qian Yi's trick is too clever. I see. It turned out that all this was due to Captain Qian Yi. Not to mention the surprises, surprises, and admiration of these staff at the Seoul Society Technical Research Center. And in the battlefield in the eastern part of Karakura town. After Grimjiao calmed down, he said to Qian Yi, Captain Qian Yi. Your move is also really good, I have been taught. Why, don't you always say that I don't have Reiatsu? Now that I have, are you a little scared and regretful? Qian Yi looked at him comfortably, and asked Grimjiao disdainfully. Captain Qian Yi, haven't fought yet. Who loses and who wins, I don't know yet, Grimjiao said. Qian Yi saw Grimjiao retreating without knowing it was difficult, and his expression was cold, and he pressed Reiatsu towards Grimjiao. Although Grimjiao was not unable to move, he still felt a trace of fear. He found that his actions had become difficult, and even his thoughts, CDEJ, seemed to be a bit slower. Strip. After Grimjiao felt the pressure from Qian Yi, he stared at Qian Yi vigilantly. However, when Qian Yi disappeared in place, a Shunpo appeared in front of him. Grimjiao was too late. Brush, 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 puff puff. Qian Yi walked around Grimjiao and waved Zanpakuto again and again. In an instant, Qian Yi cut out several knives. Wow. After Grimjiao spit out a big mouthful of blood, he looked down at his scarred body. The terrible wound seemed to tell of his weakness. As Espada, his strength is definitely not weak. Grimjiao is a virtual in Espada, his physical strength can be imagined. Shinigami, who is the deputy captain, can hardly hurt him even if he tries his best. But Qian Yi waved his knife seemingly understatement, but every cut seriously injured him. At this moment, Grimjiao really knew how terrifying Qian Yi's strength was. Brush. After Qian Yi severely injured Grimjiao, he reacted and hurriedly turned back. I want to escape now. Grimjiao, don't you think it's too late? As Qian Yi spoke, it was already Shunpo who came to Grimjiao. Grimjiao used the ring to escape again. But every time he just appeared, Qian Yi appeared in front of him. Moreover, every time Qian Yi appeared, he slashed directly towards Grimjiao. Less than half a minute. Grimjiao was hit by Qian Yi again with more than a dozen knives. Grimjiao looked at Qian Yi who came in front of him again, and Qian Yi's Zanpakuto who had already lifted up and slashed towards him. Grimjiao's eyes were full of horror, and he felt the fear of death for the first time. He was very unwilling, but Qian Yi's strength was too strong and completely crushed him. Grimjiao is unwilling to resign. There is no alternative at this time. Are you going to die? Grimjiao looked at Qian Yi's cut Zanpakuto. He regretted coming to Karakura town without permission. Grimjiao was desperate. Chapter 247. Kurosaki Ichigo Hollow Becomes the Fast Gun King. Advertise here. Just when Grimjiao thought he was dead, a golden light enveloped him. Qian Yi's slash was blocked by the light. He couldn't cause any damage to Grimjiao, who was shrouded in light. Um. Qian Yi looked up and saw a black cavity on top of Grimjiao's head. In the black cavity, you can faintly see a Manos Grande. Manos Grande is holding a figure with a silver mirror in his hand. It is to follow Aizen Sosuke to back the Soul Society, in order to pursue stronger power, to go to Tusan Konami of, Hueko Mundo. Grimjiao slumped in negation, knowing he was saved. Qian Yi did not attack Grimjiao who had recovered his life. Because the light that Manos Grande descended was used by Manos Grande to guide his companions, named Negation. Once Negation descended, it formed a barrier temporarily isolated from the outside world. The space in the enchantment and the outside world are like two dimensions, and Qian Yi will be stronger. At this moment, it was impossible to attack Grimjiao in negation, and could only watch Grimjiao being rescued by Tusan Konami. Captain Tusan, your Reiatsu has improved several times compared to before. It seems that you have got the power you want. Qian Yi felt that Tusan Konami was several times stronger than when he left Soul Society, Reiatsu said. Tusan Konami said, Qian Yi, I will have stronger power. When we meet next time, I will defeat you by myself. Cut. 
Qian Yi is very disdainful of Tusan Konami, even with Tusan Konami, he wants to defeat him himself. It's not that Qian Yi looks down on Tusan Konami, but Tusan Konami doesn't have that strength at all. When Qian Yi was talking to Tusan Konami, Grimjiao was already attracted by the light curtain and came to the black cavity. Maino's Grande held the dying Grimjiao in his hand with another big hand. Qian Yi, please look forward to our next meeting. Tusan Konami finished speaking and waved. The lowered light curtain disappeared, and the black cavity closed with a snap. You successfully repelled the invasion of Arankar. Get the event reward. Linka plus 100. Qian Yi knew that Tusan Konami had returned to Hueko Mundo with Grimjiao. After Hitsugaya Toshiro and others met Qian Yi's battle with Grimjiao, they were once again shocked by Qian Yi's strength. It turned out that Qian Yi had already possessed the strength to crush them unknowingly. The battle Qian Yi fought was naturally known by Inoue Orihime. After Inoue Orihime knew Qian Yi's powerful strength, the confidence in his heart also greatly increased. Secretly decided not to be at the mercy of Ulziola. Then, Qian Yi gave the special healing pill to Hitsugaya Toshiro and others. After Hitsugaya Toshiro and others recovered from their injuries, they reported the battle to Seoul Society. One side began to clean up the battlefield. In the western half of Karakura town, the back mountain training ground of the masked military base. Kurosaki Ichigo's hollow training has also reached the most critical moment. What to do? Hiroko Shinji, we can't hold on anymore. Everyone sticks to it. We have to believe in Kurosaki Ichigo, we also have to believe in Captain Chian Yi, and we have to believe in ourselves. Hiroko Shinji, you believe in me, and I believe in yours. As soon as Hiroko Shinji's voice fell, Chian Yi already followed the voice and walked into the training ground. Captain Chian Yi, you came here with a pinch. Thank God, thank God, Hiroko Shinji said. Okay, I don't think you are in a hurry at all. Chian Yi responded to Hiroko Shinji, but directly said to Hachigan, Little 8, take out Kurosaki Ichigo's formation method. Dot dot dot, for flowers, team leader. Before Hachigan's words were finished, Chian Yi said again, don't worry. After you withdrew from the formation, you all retreated to Yiya, and then handed it over to me. Right at Hachigan, as soon as the formation was removed, Kurosaki Ichigo, who had been suppressed on the ground, immediately stood up and launched a fierce attack on Qian Yi. At this time, Kurosaki Ichigo is also in the sword Zen space, and his uncle Zanjetsu is engaged in a desperate fight. Just when Kurosaki Ichigo was just hit by uncle Zanjetsu and hit a small dirt mountain bag with another punch. Kurosaki Ichigo suddenly felt a sense of oppression, and he seemed to feel a bit strong all over his body. Kurosaki Ichigo didn't even think about it, but quickly jumped out of the mountain bag. There was another loud shout. Crescent Moon Sky Chong. And very quickly and confidently, slashed towards his uncle Zanjetsu. This knife is stronger, faster, and more fierce than Kurosaki Ichigo's previous cut. At this time, uncle Zanjetsu seemed to be taken aback. Just when uncle Zanjetsu was taken aback, it's too late to say, then it's fast. I saw that Kurosaki Ichigo's black Zanpakuto had already pierced uncle Zanjetsu, and it was worn right. Even the black Zanpakuto hilt almost fell into Uncle Zanjetsu's body. Taste. Crack. With the cracking sound of the crack, the unwilling Uncle Zanjetsu gradually disappeared. Kurosaki Ichigo at this time was also a little surprised. It's too late to say, then it's fast. I saw that Kurosaki Ichigo's black Zanpakuto had already pierced Uncle Zanjetsu, and it was worn right. Even the black Zanpakuto hilt almost fell into Uncle Zanjetsu's body. Where? Chapter 248. Escape back to, Hueko Mundo, losing his arm. Advertise here. Taste. Crack. With the cracking sound of clicking, Uncle Zanjetsu with a look of unwillingness gradually disappeared. Kurosaki Ichigo at this time was also a little surprised. I became, I finally defeated Uncle Zanjetsu. Not only did I regain control, I also completely mastered Hollow. So far, Kurosaki Ichigo has completely mastered Hollow. He doesn't need to worry about being controlled by the virtual whiteness in his body, and can also use the power of the virtual whiteness to fight. Certainly. Kurosaki Ichigo has just mastered the power of hollow, and can maintain hollow for a short period of time every time. Kurosaki Ichigo's hollow time is only 11 seconds. That is, Bizard, the, quick shot king, whom I laughed at earlier. You successfully helped Kurosaki Ichigo to complete the hollow. Get event reward. Spiritual power plus 100. Hueko Mundo. Tusan Konami brought the dying Grimjiao to Aizen Sosuke. Hey, Aizen Yusuk, I have followed your instructions and I brought him back alive. I see, you did a good job, Tusan Konami. After talking to Tusan Konami, Aizen looked at Grimjiao with calm eyes. At this time, Tusan Konami, who was standing next to him, looked at Grimjiao and said. Grimjiao, you should have something to apologize. Grimjiao, who was badly injured there, stood there reluctantly, panting. No, he was still cold and arrogant, even if he was seriously injured, he still looked like that. You are as cold as you always have, and you don't want to say one more word. Aizen Tomosuke stood in front, then saw Tusan Konami standing next to him and said. 
since he refuses to plead guilty, cut off his arm once. Grimjiao didn't expect Aizen Tuyusuf to say this. He was slightly stunned there, but after he was stunned, his right arm had already left his body. At this moment, Tusan Konami next to him was taking his weapon back into the scabbard. He had already been injured badly, and now he was even weaker. Aizen Tsuyusuk sat down and said, Actually, you should have been killed, but you helped me accomplish another thing. So then I decided to relax the punishment for you, and I have to forget it with one arm. Grimjiao just wanted to ask him to take it back while looking at his arm in the air. At this moment, Aizen Tomosuk released a ray of light, burning the arm that had been cut off and flying in the air. Seeing his disappearing arm, Grimjiao's eyes there became gloomy. Although he was seriously injured, one arm was also chopped off. At this time, Grimjiao's strength suddenly changed back to the strength of the base and Maino's grande. Enclose the wound on his broken arm. Looking at Tusan Konami like that, he was extremely angry and unwilling. You guy dare to do something to me and meet my anger. Grimjiao, who was about to rush up, was stopped by Aizen Soyusuk who was sitting there. Aizen Tomosuk continued, I didn't let you kill him. Maybe you think your life is worthless. But you still have to listen to my orders to get things done. Aizen Tomosuk looked at there with a smile, Grimjiao glanced, and then continued. Grimjiao, I think you should be worried, but it's another matter. If you have your arm cut off, can you still continue to serve as the sixth number in the former Espada? Grimjiao pushed his knife back into the scabbard, then turned and left. Tusan Konami looked at his back, held the handle of the knife in his hand, and let go. I really didn't expect this guy to have an arm cut off and dare to fight with me. That guy is not someone who would admit defeat if he broke his arm. Tusan Konami, our plan is about to be implemented soon. Feng Yu has already begun, it can be liberated. What? That's great, it's time to start the counterattack. No, there is one more thing that must be done. When we finish that thing, it is time for us to attack. Yeah, I see, it was Qian Yi and Kurosaki Ichigo who were called Kurosaki Ichigo, right? Aizen Tomosuk looked at Tusan Konami with a smile and said. Anyone who is too smart will never end well. 4.9 haha, that doesn't include me. So back, Grimjiao of, Hueco Mundo. Before he had time to rest, he was taken advantage of by a mask named Ruby, taking advantage of his weakness. Ruby not only defeated him, but also occupied his top 10 and 6th place. But this has no effect on Grimjiao. For him, a spot's position is basically a virtual one. What he wants to do is to challenge the strong. After a period of training, Grimjiao recovered from his injury. But Grimjiao, the broken arm, can no longer recover, and his strength is not as good as before. Chapter 249, Invade the Present Karakura Town Again. Advertise here. At this moment, Aizen Soyusuke's experiment is about to come to an end, and the liberation of Hogyoku is immediately in sight. On this day, Aizen Soyusuke gathered a spada, all in one room. At this time, I saw a person who was covered by a cloth, kneeling there, above him there was a glass mirror groove. Aizen Soyusuke put the Hogyoku in his hand on it. Is that Hogyoku? Yeah, Tusan Konami. You can free him now and let you witness the moment of miracles. At this time, Aizen Soyusuke still focused on watching the person kneeling there and the Hogyoku in the glass groove above him. In about a minute, the wind and rain started suddenly and slowly turned black. Then I only heard a shattering sound, Hogyoku broke 23. What is broken at any time is the white cloth covering people. After the white light released by translation destruction dissipated. At this time, a mask appeared in front of everyone. Aizen Soyusuke, smiling while looking there, the mask asked. Rookie, what is your name? The person seemed a little hesitant there, he hesitated for a long time, then looked at Aizen Toyusuke and said. My name is Sankyun Shanzi. Ha ha ha, that's great, you are welcome to join, newcomers. But that, the person who just turned into a mask, doesn't seem to understand what Aizen Soyusuke means. I don't know there, I am looking at something, yelling, Wu. At this moment, Aizen Yusuke did not continue to care about him, but looked towards Yami and Ruby, the tenth blade in Espada. Of course, the most important thing is Ulziola, who is the fourth place in Espada. At this time, Aizen Yusuke looked up at a high place, Grimjiao who was sitting on it, smiled and said. You go too, at this time, in the present Karakura town. Toshiro and the others are still cleaning the battlefield there. I just killed some of them, who were still there, and they just breathed a sigh of relief. But suddenly, they sensed the sky, but there was a change. It seemed that the clouds were getting up quickly, and Toshiro and his deputy captains looked up to the sky. The black cavity slowly opened in the sky, and five masks appeared there. They are, the fourth Espada Ulziola, the sixth Espada Ruby, the tenth Espada Yami, there is also the new face Wanda Wyan, even the original sixth Espada Grimjiao. Looking at such a lineup, even Toshiro was shocked. I didn't expect to touch five pseudonyms at once, including four Espada. Moreover, what he didn't expect was even more. Grimjiao, so quickly, came to this world again. When Yami saw Toshiro, he laughed there too. Then he said, I didn't expect that when I first came here, I had already seen it. Reiatsu is such a strong person, so lucky. At this moment, Grimjiao, who was standing next to him, looked far away. 
There is no one I want to defeat here. Grim Zhao said as he left the black cavity and flew away. Grim Zhao, this is still looking for the position of Qian Yi. However, before Grim Zhao hadn't waited, how far it flew, a black light appeared in front of him. I can't think of you, I came here again. Could it be that you are not afraid? Our Captain Qian Yi, will let you this time, there is no return. What's more, since you have met me Kurosaki Ichigo now, you don't even want to go back. Kurosaki Ichigo looked at Grim Zhao and said angrily. Humph, you guy, get out of the way, isn't you the one I'm looking for? Even if you are the one, Kurosaki Ichigo I originally wanted to kill, I am still not interested in you now. And Grim Zhao, looking at Kurosaki Ichigo, was very disdainful. Hu is arrogant, our Captain Qian Yi, it's not that you know you can see you if you want to. If you want to see 597 hour Captain Qian Yi, you have to ask me first, if you agree or not, there is no room for you to run wild here. Kurosaki Ichigo is also a pair, and he doesn't look at Grim Zhao at all. Hearing what Kurosaki Ichigo said, where is Grim Zhao, he also said disdainfully. Kurosaki Ichigo, you are not my opponent at all, but if you want to die, I will definitely do it for you. Just treat it as I completed the last mission. Looking at Grim Zhao, the dismissive look clearly stimulated Kurosaki Ichigo. Bankai. Black Rider Ichigo not only pressed Bankai straight, but also immediately pulled out his Zanpakuto. At this time, I saw Kurosaki Ichigo, and the black light on the surrounding body flickered outward. Then his Zanpakuto also turned into a black katana. Even if you are Bankai, you can't beat me. This is not over yet. But, you have to be prepared. Otherwise, you will suffer a big loss. Chapter 250. Qian Yi came to the rescue. Advertise here. Listening to what Kurosaki Ichigo said, Grim Zhao was still there, and he didn't even care about it. Kurosaki Ichigo at the moment, thinking there secretly. My current hollow state can only last for 11 seconds. I must defeat him within this period of time. I saw that Kurosaki Ichigo at this time grabbed his face with his right hand. I saw his face began to condense into the shape of a fake face. Grim Zhao, who was still there with disdain, saw Kurosaki Ichigo. Such a change was also shocked. Grim Zhao did not expect that the current Kurosaki Ichigo would actually become like this. Kurosaki Ichigo flashed, because his time is really running out. Hollow's time is so long, he definitely can't waste it. Sword Grim Zhao who always stood there. At this moment, Grim Zhao raised the knife in his hand and blocked Kurosaki Ichigo's attack. But I feel Reiatsu of Kurosaki Ichigo. Grim Zhao couldn't believe that Kurosaki Ichigo was so strong. However, this also made Grim Zhao very pleasantly surprised and even interested. Because of Grim Zhao, he always only likes to fight the strong. Of course, if he doesn't like it, he will kill it. When the two people were in a stalemate there, Kurosaki Ichigo looked at Grim Zhao with cold eyes and roared. Crescent Moon Sky Chong, a huge black blade looked like Grim Zhao from sideways, fighting against him. Grim Zhao was shot and flew out immediately, and when his figure was revealed again, he became unbearable. Grim Zhao's forehead was already injured, and blood was bleeding when he went out, and his clothes had been cut off. Hey, I didn't expect to become so powerful. Kurosaki Ichigo, with just one move, already caused Grim Zhao to be seriously injured. And now, the rest of Espada has begun to attack, they are constantly destroying above the present Karakura town. When they appeared, Shinigami had already discovered it. At this moment, Hitsugaya Tashiro is fighting with Espada's number 6, both named Ruby. Hitsugaya Tashiro, has also been unlocked, his, Bankai. But reluctantly, he can only tie with Ruby. After liberation, Ruby became 8 things like arms. Attacks Tashiro successively. At this moment, Qian Yi also rushed here. Although Qian Yi did not expect, this time Arankar, after Grim Zhao came last time. In such a short time, I once again arrived in Karakura town. However, Qian Yi didn't care, and some did not care. Of course Qian Yi also knows that this time Arankar, it can be said that the drunkard's intention is not to drink. This is just Aizen taking advantage of, these Arankars are making noises. However, even though Qian Yi knew this, he didn't want to stop it. Because, it happened to be him. He had an excuse to attack, Hueco Mundo. Although Qian Yi knew this, Qian Yi still rushed over. However, Qian Yi came here with his own purpose. When Qian Yi arrived here, he saw that the scene was in a mess. Hitsugaya Tashiro at this time was being knocked to the ground, and the deputy captains were all entangled by the eight octopus feet of Ruby. Moreover, he was about to swallow them all. Bankai, Nine Feather Chain Phoenix. Seeing this, Qian Yi also came to Bankai immediately. This beheading of Arankar is not only Qian Yi's duty, but also, Qian Yi can't die, it's not justified by reason. With a phoenix sound, Qian Yi also directly withdrew Zanpakuto, and gently waved now Mickey in his hand. With Ruby's octopus feet, the same thing was cut off by Qian Yi. At this time, Ruby naturally also discovered the arrival of Qian Yi. Ruby looked at the octopus foot that was severed by Qian Yi, the same weapon. Not only did he feel no fear, but he became even more happy. Ha ha, is there finally a great character? And Qian Yi was also very disdainful. 
Although you were at Aizen, you claim to be a bullshit former Espada, but in my case, you are not even as good as Waste. Ha ha. You are crazy enough. However, you just haven't been to Hueco Mundo, and you haven't seen the power of Hueco Mundo. Wangs. Or, I won't kill you anymore, so I will arrest you, Hueco Mundo, and let you see it. Ruby laughed and talked. Then you have to live, and go back to, Hueco Mundo, alive. But, Hueco Mundo, I will go there, so don't let me down when the time comes. After Qian Yi finished speaking, he was basically, too lazy to pay attention to you Ruby. Because Qian Yi killed this kind of waste with a single knife, and it was so quiet. But, at this moment, the newcomer next to him. However, raising the weapon in his hand, he also slashed at Qian Yi. The rookie, Arankar, is not only very strange, but also very powerful. 